Hello everybody, welcome to <laughs> We're Back Or Cave. I assume this is the finale of our adventure. We've got a... Uh, Fault Force, can you take it all away please and tell everybody what's happening? So, uh, so at the end of last session, what, you guys had cleared the, uh, you guys had cleared the keep, right? And, uh, and we've come back to, we've come back to Vandalin and you found the, uh, the inn on fire. Oh yeah, we did, Which is yeah. not good at all. Trend. I didn't do it this time. So it turns out... Did you leave a cigarette the... in the bathtub? <laughs> Probably, actually, so, I so did. The reason, that, the reason that you went to the keep last time was that Dimrath had been captured, right? Or at least you thought Dimrath had been captured. It turned out to be a doppelganger, and you uh, and you had to go and try and rescue him. But you found out that uh, Nazar, the Black Spider, was making their way to the Wave Echo Caves. Mm -hmm. And now you've got to try and stop them from opening the Forge of Spells. You still don't know what the Forge of Spells is, but uh, it can't be good if they're trying to get hold of it. Mm. And yeah, you find yourself in front of the inn currently, with it currently burning to the ground. Laying outside are, uh, are all the denizens of, uh, of Phandalin. You see, you see Marcus lying on the floor, Dimrath by his side, holding him up by the back of his head. <laughs> and he starts spewing up blood. Oh no! So, okay, is this real Dimmy? Is this, this real, is real Dim Dimrath. Wow, wow. It's good, it's good to see Dimmy there then, and he's okay. And Marcus is, is Marcus dying or is Marcus going to be Marcus okay? Marcus is dying currently. You guys are just standing there, staring at the burning in. So when you say the be the denizens of everything, is that like the whole town has like been slaughtered or what? The whole town. Nobody's been slaughtered. The inn has just been set on fire, but everybody's standing outside watching him burn. Okay. All right. All right. Is Theach there? Is there? going to do anything? No one's going to get a bucket of water oh. to help them? <laughs> Theach, is, uh, Theach is nowhere to be found. I'm gonna go up to Marcus and put my hands on him and try to yeah, help. I'm gonna he's, go up to Marcus as well and I'm gonna say, Do you want me to make it easier for you, Marcus? <laughs> as I produce my dagger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he nods over at you, Jim. Yep, okay. His time has come. Okay, his time has come. So I just very, uh, very nicely go up and just. Poof, one motion slits you, uh, his as, as you go for his as you go for his neck, he uh, he grabs you by the hand. He goes, "Not you," and he uh, and he takes a dagger out of your hand and passes it to Dimrath. Oh, that's lovely! How romantic! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so so let me get to understand this. He's asked Dimmy to insert. He has asked <laughs> Dimmy to insert. Oh, God. So they were out there sitting the, there staring the, each other in the staring each other in the eyes. Just to do this, I still uh, oh, like. So Dimmy climbs on top of him really, and really starts thrusting away. Happen, I still try to like uh, send him into a blissful state, uh, so I like <laughs> extend like the positive energy to put him in a good place. You, you are you, are you crying while you do this, Dadel? Due to the, you, due to the obvious the impact, shoulder. the emotional impact of this scene? What? I said the emotional impact of this scene. Are you crying while you're doing this? No. I'm, I'm happy for Dimrath to, to finally get to insert. You, uh, you reach out and you put a hand on Marcus and, uh, and a glowing energy resonates from your hand. Yeah, you said lying in the, the, uh, lying in the arms of Dimrath currently. Dimrath <laughs> takes the knife. Staring each other in the eyes, as a as a tear starts to roll down Marcus's face. The same goes for Dimrath. <laughs> he takes the dagger and slowly inserts it into his neck. You hear a whispering, uh, like a whispering last breath of thank you, <laughs> as he passes away in Dimrath's arms. Oh, romantic! He just died in his arms tonight. Well, there, uh, I I actually. Um, was more upset about our buddy dying last session than this because yeah, way more upset. That, so. Fuck this guy! I'm glad he's dead. I'm gonna check there, his pockets. Uh, he, uh, in, <laughs> rifle through his pockets. <laughs> yeah, rifle through his pockets instantly. That I can perform here. Is there any uh, perception checks that I could perform to kind of? He has nothing on him. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm not so... going through his pockets. That's Jim. I mean, around like the scene. <laughs> Uh, what, you want to rifle through people's pockets? No, uh, that's Jimmy. I want to look around and see who might be responsible for this. If anybody knows who, maybe they have seen something and they ran off into the jungle, jungle, into the forest, whatever. Sorry, okay. 
Uh, make a perception check. All right, 15 plus, where's my perception? 15 plus two, 17. There are three hooded figures in, uh, in red cloaks running off into the forest. Oh, the red cloaks. They're out of your range. Well, I, and I'm, since since Jimmy's rifling through his pockets and Dadel's just crying there, I will. Uh, Not I'll look crying. Over, I'll look over Stop at Trent. Fucking projecting all the time. I will look <laughs> over at Trent and uh, point out the 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 uh, the red cloaked individuals uh, running off into the night and kind of give her the little nod, like "Let's go." Oh, I start sprinting like a dog, like a wolf on the hunt for blood. I'm, I'm right. I'm right behind her, and I've got I've got my lightsaber in my hand. You are, you start sprinting, and you get to the forest line, but it is thick and dense, and uh, unfortunately, you can't like stand them or track them from this point. <laughs> it was a valiant effort, but you uh, but you can't track them down, unfortunately. <laughs> They've disappeared into the night. Mm -hmm. I just yeah, scream into the forest. <laughs> I'm coming yeah. for you. <laughs> the forest screams back. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> in, in their in their haste, faulty anything they may have dropped, anything they may have left behind. Interesting. You should say that. Make a, make another perception check. <laughs> Thirteen this time. Yes, you, you find a map. Oh, another map. That's two maps I have, baby. Well mm. done, Jackpot. This one pointing to the Wave Echo Cave and its location. Let's fucking go! I finished rifling through his pockets, didn't find anything, and I followed them. You found nothing. And then I found, I've caught them, and I said, "What's the map there, Sir Dalton?" <laughs> what map? Uh, appear, uh, so it appears to be, uh, well, do I know it's to the Wave Echo Cave? Or is that out of character? There is a little is stamp on the bottom of it that says the Wave Echo Cave. Brilliant. I like these guys. Very, very uh, <laughs> sneaky. Very useful, right? Very sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Jim, this leads to Chapter 4 of our adventure. Mm. It does. Well, fantastic. Let's follow that map and find Chapter 4 of our adventure. I would like to suggest that, as we've already done, we go into town and, and, and restock up on said potions and or food and or rope yep. and or... That sounds a great idea, Dalton. I'm going to find some manacles. Ooh, spicy. Mmm, <laughs> nothing to do with the adventure. <laughs> Jimmy Chan? <laughs> You're going to find some rope to go with those manacles? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Needless to say. <laughs> right, so, uh, and gag. Morning, bright and early, we're off and running, right? Yes, as soon as. <laughs> so, what have you? Uh, what have you guys grabbed from the supply store? Just some potions notes. of healing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I restocked up on my potions of healing as well, and then just filled off my water skin rations, torches, just in yep. case we need them, or just the regular stuff. Perfect. Dale, you bought reagents of spells. Yeah, I emptied my bank. Good, good. Jim, what did you buy? I bet it all at the casino. I lost. And you lost. Yeah, it's yeah. grey. <laughs> Sounds about right. It's grey, not black. I was diced. Diced again. Yep. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> and Trent probably just kept hers. So, you guys set out a little camp. You should, you should ask me to come along. I am great <laughs> at gambling. That's literally my background. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jim <dimwit>. win. <laughs> so, Jim's sleeping in the casino tonight as he loses all of his money. The rest of his I did sleep in the casino, you know. That, that was. Was that. Was Did he that... sleep in a bathtub at the casino? The casino, not the casino. That was that was that night, wasn't it? That was that was yes, Jim Con. I I I did. I, we I had a I had a hotel. I couldn't go to a hotel because I didn't know where it was, <laughs> and I got deserted by my friends. So I just literally had to spend the entire night in a casino. Jim, Jim retconning, um, retconning his real life into Five E. Yeah, yeah, honestly, it literally happened. I was abandoned. He leads. doesn't come to breakfast the next day because he's too tired after gambling all night. Mm. Good times. <laughs> but yeah, so you, uh, Jim, you're sleeping in a casino. The rest of you, you get a good night's sleep as you've uh, as you set up tents and things. 
You know, the uh, the denizens of Phandalin are, are greeting you in the morning. They give you breakfast. You get some uh, you get some corn, Jim, your favourite, as you walk out. They give you a nice uh, nice log of corn there. The rest of you get a nice breakfast of some eggs, some bacon. All very enjoyable stuff. And then you make your way to the Wave Echo Cave. Mm -hmm. And this is where our adventure here starts. Oh, baby. So open up for my 12 pages of notes <laughs> right so you are currently in front of the cave the entrance leads into a large cavern supported by natural pillars of rock containing three stalagmites uh, in the western part of the cave in front of you um beyond so behind the column of rock there are three bed rolls um and a heaping amount of supplies sacks of flour bags of salt casks salted meat lanterns all of the all of the things that you'd need right pickaxes, shovels as well. Um, amidst the supplies, you see there are, there are little satchels as well, marked with the uh, marked with the crest of the black spider. Oh. Is mm. this under that first section of... Uh... Under the first... It will be, yeah. So I'm gonna quickly grab this. Oh. Hmm. In front of you, you see as well, there is a wizard who is clad in red. And three uh, three cloaked figures, red cloaked figures, who don't seem to notice you at the moment. Do I They're recognize current. them from behind, possibly? <laughs> same height, same build, blah, blah, blah. You do, yes. All right, guys, these are the motherfuckers who burned that place down. I say There's we shoot first and ask questions guys. later. <laughs> What do you say? Stabby stab? Yes, yes, stabby shooty. Let's fucking I'd go. Like, I'd like to recommend that our tank goblin goes first. Our tank goblin with the, 40 um, HP. In you go, Dado. Our, our tank limb. Let's kick him in the bollocks so he starts crying before the, he goes. The northern, as, you're, as you're looking down on the north side of the cavern, there is, uh, there is the cavern is basically collapsed inwards, right? It's like a sinkhole. Um, forming a 10 foot wide by 20 foot deep pit. A sturdy hemp rope is tied off around the nearby stalagmites and, uh, and dangles down into the side of the pit. Mm. There also does, appear to be Does the rope exits. come up the other side at all? It does not. So if you look on the, if you look on the top side here, on the north side and the east side, there are the, uh, there are the exits to where it would naturally, naturally come out, right? but it is collapsed in in this area. So if you wanted to get into either of these two exits here, you would have to, uh, you'd have to climb up. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. They came back and they didn't realize that this had happened while they were gone. So they're gonna have to climb down into that to get it back into the cave. We're gonna wait till two of them are down there and then we're going in. Brilliant idea, Dalton. I'm with you. Can I just... So, there's a ledge. Down to I, a 20 foot drop on the north side of the cave here. And there's not a way for us to sneak around to that ledge? Uh, not with the red brands there currently. Sad, never mind. I also want to point out to Jim. I want to say, this is your chance to fucking 300 somebody. Yes, that's exactly what I was fucking thinking, Jeff. <laughs> well, I like I like the idea of waiting till two go down on the floor, laughing my fucking ass off at the moronity of these three assholes that I'm hanging out with. Wow. <laughs> wow, how dare okay, you. Okay, so let's 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 wait a few minutes and let's see what the hell they're doing. Let's see if one or one or two descends down into that so, uh... As this no. is happening As this is happening, you guys uh, you see them start picking up pickaxes. They're getting uh, they're getting more rope and they're starting to tie stuff off onto the stalagmites again. One of them descends down into the pit, so does another one from this one here. And then one of them is just mulling about here. Sickum trim. I run up immediately, <laughs> stealthily, and stab him in the back. Make a stealth check, please. <laughs> Jim, you've got your bow out and drawn. I've right? got my bow out. I've got. I'm ready. I've cast my little spell on myself. I'm ready to fucking shoot. Nineteen. Nineteen. You are in stealth. 
I would like to stabby stab. You gonna attempt to stab him? Oh yeah. Okay, make a sleight of hand check, please. Okay. Twelve. Okay, and make your attack roll. Dadle. Yes. As soon as she makes contact with him, you're going to take the stalactite on the right. I'm going to take the one on the left. We're cutting the ropes. 27. Wait, no, that's okay. not right. 20 something. Yeah, you hit him. How are you going to do it? Explain it to me in detail. So in stealth, like a whisper in the night, I just run up behind him and I say, found ya. And I just <laughs> slit his throat immediately. <laughs> Okay, Dadle, that's when we spring into action, brother. I'm me. I'm going to shoot the Wiz. I'm going to shoot the Wiz. I've, I've got my aim all ready. Boom. Shoot him. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go gonna... shoot him. <laughs> right. If I'm that's pulling, the case... I'm pulling out what I have, what I have, uh, what I have named my dim saber, and I'm going after the rope on the left stalagmite <laughs> to cut it. Nice. Right, so for this, we're going to roll combat. Four. So roll for initiative. Not good. Okay, let's see. Four plus... Seven total. Seven. Seven. Eighteen. Okay. What do I add for a... Uh, I initiative. Thirteen. What did you get? What did you get, Jack Paul? Sorry? I got a seven. Okay. Daedal? <laughs> one. <laughs> one. Is that a natural one? Yes. Right, It'll you are going to be fumbling, and you'll find out how it fucks you up on your next turn. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Let me roll for these guys. Ah, uh, bad oh, news. <laughs> uh, the wizard is definitely faster than you. And I don't know. I was prepared. I was prepared to go as Tren attacked. You were, Jim. However, the wizard's reaction times are better than yours. No. Just, I'm an elf. Red, red brand. Red brand. Right. Okay. Only Lensis is, fa is faster than you, Jim. You're just going to you're gonna have to deal with that. He's a wizard over 50. I don't believe it. True. <laughs> right. As the, uh, as the guy that you've killed, the red brand there, Trent, bleeds out, blood starts spurting out everywhere. Combat is initiated. The, uh, the wizard shouts down to the others, you two get up here. Get over and here. It's going to be his turn first. Well, the good part he is, is going they're 20 to... feet down. They're 20 feet down. He is going to cast a spell, and uh, at this point, there's going to be a magical barrier that is put up, cutting off half of the room. A yellow barrier that's currently being held up by this wizard. It's just in front of where the red brand is. It's now going to be Tren's turn. Um, so I try and sprint forward. What happens when I run into the yellow barrier? I'm gonna sprint at the barrier. Oh, fuck yeah, I am. You are, you bounce off of it, go flying back, and take <laughs> one point of damage. And you yeah. fall on your ass. Dadle, dispel magic, brother. Boom. Dispel magic, let's go. I know, I know. Even though you rolled a one, you're screwed. <laughs> oh, you think he's gonna be able to dispel magic this turn? Funny guy. Um, I just stare at the wizard trying to intimidate him, and that ends my turn. Make an intimidation check. Okay, is this is this barrier extending all the way to the ceiling? Uh, it is, yeah. How high is the ceiling, plus or minus? 17. 20 foot. Okay. 17? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he laughs at you and goes, shitty elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you crabs! <laughs> I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Up next is you, Jim. <laughs> we'll be back in five minutes, everybody. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I guess 
I guess uh, I can't shoot him then with this magical barrier. Where do you want to move to, Jim? Well, so I guess I thing. can't shoot him because of the barrier, right? I can't shoot him. I well, don't know. Have you tried? Well, I guess I can't. See, I've just seen Trent like run up and fall over, right? So I'm gonna think hmm. probably not gonna work. Um, okay. So what I'm gonna do Good is use of your brain there. Yep, thank you. So I'm gonna walk right up to it and I'm gonna intimidate him <laughs> by shouting, "I'll give you crabs." <laughs> <laughs> Roll for intimidation, Jim. <laughs> Jim's having a brain aneurysm right now. Oh my god, I rolled a one. You rolled a one. Oh no. He just turns to you and goes, what, what is it with you fucking weirdos? <laughs> Crabs. When you like delicious. to know... <laughs> I'm literally an uh, idiot. <laughs> the wizard, the wizard Jim, uh, raises his other hand up and casts a spell, and you, uh, and you feel the skin on your lips start to merge together. Oh shit! I don't like as that. It is, uh, as it smooths over. Not good. Doesn't sound great. <laughs> what? What do you want to do here, Jim? I'm. <laughs> I'm not do that. You, um, not your character. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, uh, I've been silenced. I've been silenced. I don't know, not much then, eh? Hope you know sign language. Yep. Yeah. I'll go like this to him. Yeah, he sticks his finger up back at you. The red brands are going to start climbing back up. They've made it about halfway up. You can hear them scurrying. They've dropped their pickaxes and bits on the floor and they're climbing back up the rope. Daedal, your turn. No, Jackball, sorry. Then you, Daedal. Okay, so um, where is this barrier? I'm assuming they've got it's both their stalactites covered, stretching across right? the room for these, two, uh, for these two rock pillars here. So it's just a barrier that's cutting off half the room. All right, so I'm going to move to the... Is that, a, is, that a, is that like a little um, column in the middle there? It is of rocks, okay, that's yeah. What I figured. So move around the left-hand side. I'm going to yep. pull out my dim saber, yep. and I'm going to touch it against the, uh, <laughs> I'm going to gingerly touch the tip against the, uh, uh, the, uh, <laughs> sorry, Trent, <laughs> against the field, and I want to see if, uh, if there's any reaction whatsoever. Just a bit of light probing. As you, uh, as you do that, and you touch the tip, <coughs> it, um, you touch it, and it, doesn't feel like anything. Just goes straight through. You pull it out, and there's a there's a small hole left in the field. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna cut through that son of a bitch, and I'm cutting that rope right in front of me. Perfect. You uh you cut a, you cut a, a jackball sized hole in front of you. You manage to sneak your way through the field, and you slice the uh the rope anchored to the to the stalagmite there. And one of the red brands goes flying down, and you hear a scream. As uh, as he splats on the floor, and you hear a squelch as what you assume to be his insides of uh, of, of splattered all over the floor. Nice. Your face Fucking comes down, by the way, faulty. Fixing it now. Glorious. Maybe I could have shot him then, eh? If you can cut through it. Never mind. Maybe you could have. Maybe you could have. <laughs> Diced again. Never lucky. Is that the extent of my turn, or...? Uh, you can have a bonus action. Alright, so I'm... I'm. Is my movement complete? Uh, your movement is complete, I'd assume, yeah. Okay, with a bonus action, could I pick up a small rock, I mean, nothing huge, small and fast, and just toss it at the wizard trying to break his concentration? Of course you can. <laughs> and we will do that in just a moment. No, no, Soon take your time, brother. We're good. Fucking thing working. <laughs> why does this never work? Why, why, do, why do things always have to be complicated? Just diced in it. Diced again. Yeah. Never lucky. My right, camera's back on. Let me do that. Woo! Look at me. I am fault force. I have the power. <laughs> Tadle's fucking head. <laughs> I just like the fact that I now have the dim saber. Mm. 
Is that what you named it? Yeah, it's the Dim Saber. Hell yeah, dude. Saber of Dim Wrath. Glorious. Hopefully, that won't break again. But you never fucking know. Mm -hmm. Right, so you're going to go for a rock and you're going to try and pelt it at the wizard. Yep, all I'm trying to do is bring his concentration, so I'll hit him. I'm just going center mass. I'm not going for anything cute, not his hands, not his face, just center mass. What do you want to use to uh, try and make the roll? Yeah, we could do... Wow. Um... Sleight of hand? We could do That's sleight of just... hand. We could do, do sleight uh... of hand. Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand? Right. No, right. 17. 17, you pelt it and you uh, and you hit him center mass and it knocks him off concentration for uh, for just a second and then and the barrier goes down but then comes instantly back up. Nice again. Well, that sucks. Okay. Mm. Daedal, your turn. Yeah. What does it mean that I fumble? Um, You'll find out when you try and make an action. <laughs> All right. Sit down and read a book, Daedal. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do? I mean, that's basically what I'll do. About. <laughs> Are you actually going to sit down and read a book? <laughs> you can't sit down and read a book. Come on. What? You can't I sit can't down and read a book. Come on. You've got to fail spectacularly. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, I guess we try to dismantle his fucking uh, uh, magic shield. Are you going to push through into the front and are you going to try and dispel his magic? No, oh, I am. No, I've got 120 feet range with this magic. You're going to go all the way at the back. pushing through. <laughs> Staying right. right where I am. Are you going to attempt to dispel his magic? Yes. You dispel the magic, the field drops. No. Oh. What? <laughs> All right. I look around myself amazed at what I've accomplished. <laughs> Jack Ball, the magic field has dropped. Daedal has managed to dispel it. Nice, little gobbo, dude. What do you want to do? It's your turn. Well, I mean, that was. Uh... A level three spell doesn't that like require a lot of effort? Uh, it, you will expel, expend one of your level three spell slots for the day until you take a long rest. All so right. take it off your sheet. Um, you only have one level three spell for a day, right? No, two. Two. Lucky you. You call it luck. I call it skill. Um. <laughs> What do just, I want to do with the rest of my turn, guys? I'm just banking that one that you've uh, that you've rolled for a bit later. Get over there and cut that friggin' rope if you can. What? You can't bank my one for later. Of course I can. Of course I can. Fucking GM is working against us. And that's literally the whole point of D and D. <laughs> cut the rope! Cut the rope, Gobble. Yeah, I'm gonna, I take my dagger out. <laughs> To cut the rope. You are uh, you running forward then to cut the rope? I'm not running forward. I'm well, the rope is over here on the forward. stalag right here, so you would have to go forward. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I'm, I'm steadily moving, here. so I don't take the uh, what's your, attention what's your of the wizard. What? He's already got your attention. You dispelled his magic. All right. Well, then I'm, fuck it, I'm running. Right. Okay. So you're gonna have to use your. Uh... So this is the thing. You desperately want me to run with scissors. You've already, no, okay. you've already used. You've already used your main action to dispel, right? Yeah. Um, you have what a thirty foot movement? Uh, I don't know. Where do I see that? It'll be on your sheet at the top. I believe you have thirty foot. We're gonna say you got thirty foot because that's reasonable. The uh, the rope is currently about forty five foot away, so you would you wouldn't be able to get to it without using your bonus action for movement. So you wouldn't be able to cut it on the same turn. Yes, thirty foot speed. 
All right. So yeah, I can it's 45. Do it. You'd have to use your bonus action to sprint to get double movement. That's why I'm saying run over there. All right. I'm running over there. Okay. It's clearly what you want me to do. <laughs> make a dexterity check. <laughs> Nigga, watch the ledge. <laughs> yeah, make a dexterity check, please. <laughs> Knows what's about to happen. I know exactly what's coming here. You know what's coming. Can you fly, Dadel? Make a yes. dex check for me, Dadel. I am. What did you and don't roll a one. No. Did you roll a one? No. I rolled a five. <laughs> With plus two from dex. You uh, you slip. And you, uh, <laughs> was, uh, somebody is, uh, somebody's left a can of beans out, uh, cause obviously they got bed rolls and stuff. So they, they had, so they had bed rolls and stuff out, right? They've obviously been here for a little while and you, uh, you slip on some spilled beans and you, uh, and you slide to the edge of the, uh, to the edge of the castle. You assholes. All of you. I didn't want to do this. You forced me into it. You look down and you see the red brand staring back up at you as he spits in your face as he's, uh, as he's climbing. <laughs> <laughs> I now Wait, he can spit in my face while I slip. So you slip, oh, right? Oh. So you you slip and you stopped right before the like the cutoff of the sinkhole area. Your head right. is uh is over the edge. So you uh you're peering down and you see him climbing up and he spits in your face. He He's spits climbing. up in my face. He spits up into your face. Yeah, I'm questioning his fucking logic. He must be what like some kind of strange lizard on. man if he can spit into somebody's face while he's climbing. <laughs> he's oh, he's a lizard. Oh, just not fall right down in your own fucking face, you dumb fuck. Also, he's got like. He's got a face mask on, anyway. He spits anyway. on you. He spits on you and he lands on your face. So it's sticky. I tell him this, how dumb he is, and then I spit right back at him. You, um, you try and spit back at him, but unfortunately, you have no bonus actions left, so your uh, your mouth's a bit dry, unfortunately, so you can't spit back at him. <laughs> so, you know. And then you start crying, unfortunately. And tears <laughs> tears rain not down not onto his face. Tears of rage at being insulted. Spit on me, I'll cry on you. <laughs> See, you got They don't cry. They don't cry. Literally, things I need comfort right now. Right, cry on the cry on the rope, Dale, so that way it's harder to climb up. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the wizard's turn now. And, uh, and seeing you guys in front of him, he, uh, he raises his staff and casts another spell. And he goes invisible. Mm. Mm. You can no longer see him at the moment. It's now going to be, Tren, your turn. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Just a second. Go on. Hold on. I'm waiting. <laughs> We're yes. all hitting. Hold on. We're holding. Have you planned out what you're going to do here, Trent? You're going to give me something amazing, yeah? Oh, yeah, I am. You're going to cast some spells? You're going to you're gonna chug some potions? Oh, there's what are we a gonna spell. Do? There's a spell coming. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. All right, never mind. Never mind? Okay. Never mind. Fantastic. Trent, your turn. Uh, hold on. Is this an action? I think this is my action. Uh, I use Fairy Fire, which is okay. a 20-foot cube. All objects, creatures save or outlined in a 10-foot dim light and attacks have advantage. You see invisible creatures. What's the saving throw? Uh -huh. Dexterity. He rolls a 19, so he saves, unfortunately. Oh. But he did not roll a 19. I'm literally rolling dice on my desk. Jesus, Dadel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Come on! You. One very million you, percent! Trent. <laughs> Trent, very good yeah. use of uh, very good use of your spell. You can have an inspiration. Thank so you. So you can re-roll something. Yeah, that was, pretty, that was pretty good. Clever use of spell good. mechanics there. So she so she cast Krabby Fire and failed, okay. <laughs> yep. You got a bonus action, you got movement, you got talking. You can have um, a petty action if you want. Yeah. 
There's not really anything. Um, not really. Anything you want to help Daedal up? You want to? You want to reposition? You want to shout something? Yeah, I guess I'll help Daedal up. You're gonna help Daedal up? Yep. Make a dex check. Doing this? Make a dex check to uh, check out out spill over the beans. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. You don't slip on the beans. You glide across. Uh, as you do, you basically you're running forward to Daedal to go and help him. And you, uh, you see the beans and you slide through them. And uh, you know when a car goes through water on a, and it just like flies up onto the curb, a load of beans just go and land on Daedal's back <laughs> as, uh, as this happens. And I you run you up to him. Spray of beans. The, I tell you to spit on the uh, red shirt uh, as you come and help me. The Daedal's okay. covered in spitting beans. <laughs> <laughs> I hawk a nice loogie at the red shirt. Yeah. Make an intimidation oh, yeah. check. Okay. <laughs> Twelve. Um, you hit him right in the eye, and he slips, and he falls down. Ah, fuck ah. yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, fuck face! <laughs> and, he, uh, and like the other red brand, he goes splat as his, uh, as his back opens up and his insides spill out onto the floor. Four. Good. <laughs> See, I told you to spit on him, and look what it, uh, look what it got us. Jim, it's your turn now. All right, because Demon Cock's uh, like a demonic cock, isn't he? I'll ask if he can see the invisible fella. Uh, he can. Right, so then can he guide me to shoot at him with my bow? It would require some advanced coordination, but yes, you can. I'll, let's do that then, Demon Cock. Demon Cock starts running around. <laughs> He's running around. He's standing in front of where the uh, where the wizard currently is. Right. Glorious. I shall aim a few feet above him then. Go for it. And shoot. Make an attack roll with a minus four, please. Right. Um, bear with me. Uh, oh, nat 20. Nat 20. You uh, you ping him right in the shoulder and the wizard's spell drops as he, uh, as he becomes visible again. Glorious. Do I get to do damage to him? You do. Six damages. Note that down. Perfect. Okay. Mm. Does Jack Demon Cock get to peck him or not? If you want to, yeah, go on. Yeah, Demon Cock will give him a, give him a little peck. Can he attack twice? Uh, yeah. Glorious. Prime, prime evil peck. Gets a ten. Doesn't go through his cloak. He's, uh, the chicken's pecking at it, but uh, can't go through the fabric. And the other one's a seven. Sad. Does not hit, unfortunately. Sad. Jack Bull. I'm rolling up with the, uh, with, with the dim saber, and I'm cutting this bastard in half. Go for it. 19 plus 8 is a 27. Or you hit, he goes, no, stop, please. <laughs> so, bef so, like, before I swing or before I'm about before to make you contact, swing. I gotta you're, pull you're, off. you're winding up the swing. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, I'll sweep, I'll sweep his legs. Oh, you go for a leg sweep and he's knocked down to the ground. Combat is now over. Mm -hmm. Tie his ass up, boys. I've got some manacles in the back. <laughs> Get the manacles! Manacle in, <laughs> I've got manacles in the back. <laughs> I'll walk over a... and, uh, and, on, on. and I'll help young Daedal up and I'll take my thumbs. I'm, and I'm already up. What are you kind of, kind of, of you know, wipe the tears off of his face and just let there him know that those were expensive, those were very the bean expensive dude. beans. <laughs> Yeah. Those were pinto beans, my friend. You're okay. <laughs> that wasn't meant as an insult. Those were black beans, and I'm keeping them to eat later. <laughs> All right, let's You're question this full of beans. beans. No, yeah. they're black beans. Let's get some good interrogation going on this motherfucker. All right. He's so currently these, tied so, up. Okay, so generally I'm a nice guy. Well, not a nicer guy. I won't say a nice guy. But these are the guys that burned down the um, and you killed one of our are, friends, yeah. right? This is for Marcus. <laughs> okay, 
So I'm going to I'm going to tell Trent, I'm going to say extract information. Roger. <laughs> not not I, not I, don't that have, way. I, I just can't bring it to myself to do what she's got to do. <laughs> I just Trent? to start I just sit right in front of him, nice cross-legged, in front of this nice little wizard, and I stare at him. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Fault is, she's doing this, I'm going to just kind of glance down those two caverns and just make sure nothing's sneaking up and around. And uh, You do that and you see the two dead red brands on the floor. Well, I mean the caverns, themselves, not down below, but like the two... I mean up to the sides. There's nothing sneaking around that you can All right. see. Just, just kind of keep an eye out. If anything pops up, you will be the first to know. 22 for intimidation. Okay. Go for it. What are you going to oh, say? Oh, that was it. Nothing. I just stared at him. <laughs> I'm going to interrogate him by just staring at him. <laughs> I do. So I, I look back at Trent and I go... He's a little bit unnerved. <laughs> and I go, you need to... Step it up? Okay. okay. All right, I'm, I'm running and just punch him right in the jaw. So, I just so, run up at him when he's distracted by like by Trent staring at him, and I just smash him right right in the jaw, and then I say, "Start check, talking, yeah. you son of a bitch." Make a sleight of hand check, please. Okay. Oh god, I rolled a three. <laughs> you are uh, in your Five. in your haste and excitement. You run forward and you go for the swing, but you swing over his head. It's an almighty punch, but you realise he's sitting on the ground. <laughs> So you don't hit him, Jim. Well done. Diced again. <laughs> right. uh, Jack Bull, I just look at you and I say, get the beans. <laughs> yeah, he looks over, he looks back at you, Jack Bull. You lock eyes for a second and you can see the terror in his eyes. <laughs> I'm going to walk over and I'm going to grab the beans, pick them up, and I'm going to hand him the dadle and I'm going to go... You ever seen what a fucking crazy ass goblin does with beans to a wizard? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I'm a goblin king. Do you think I'm a rookie? Do you think I'm new at this? This is not the first time I've used beans. <laughs> so I take the handful of beans. I almost beans. went there with the anal beans comment, but I'm gonna let the first <laughs> So I take the beans in my hands <laughs> and I walk, walk over, walk over to the wizard, <laughs> and I carefully take one <laughs> and start jamming it into his right ear, <laughs> and then I take another one, jam it into his left ear, <laughs> and the yeah, other one. Point out fault that goblins do have abnormally small fingers, so <laughs> another one. Yes. I getting it in there and then another ah! one his nostril <laughs> and then goes, another he just goes what the fuck are you doing is you're doing this <laughs> is, is this supposed to be torture <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you doing it's for two shh be quiet <laughs> okay so at this point i'm gonna say jim um pay attention down those uh those another one up always his left there. nostril mm -hmm. And I'm gonna walk up, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab him by his little, his, his collar, yep. and I'm gonna say, "How do you like the beans? What is this place? <laughs> you want some more beans, son? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cut the collar, and loose on the beans, and you've got about four more orifices this guy can go after." <laughs> he goes, "We've right. got cans, never mind lost. beans." <laughs> he, uh, he basically gives you his name, which is, uh, which is Lano Glassstaff. And he goes, I saw an opportunity and I took it. With the connections I've made through the Lord's Alliance, I was able to meet with the Black Spider. He promised me secrets and wealth with the Forger's spells. I was a fool to believe him. I regret my decision. Perhaps you were a fool to believe him. A dark he is wizard. Going to, you... He is going Dumbass. to roll a natural 20. And uh, Jackball, I'm going to PM something to you. Just a fool to Who believe. Who rolled a natural 20? I did or he did? You rolled for me or you rolled for the wizard? Him. Oh, you, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to look down and I'm going to go. 
I believe this guy. We got to find out. We got to. We got to help this guy find this wizard. Did you kill Marcus? Who are you talking to? The wizard. Who, who's Marcus? Where were you last night? Here. <laughs> trying to access the Forge of Spells. Mm, that's what someone Why, why were you say. trying to access the Forge of Spells? To gain power. Why else do you think? Why, why do you, well, well, are you a goodie or a baddie? He's obviously been caught up in something that he doesn't need to be caught up in. Jim. Well, I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna get my dagger out and cut his cock off. Oh! <laughs> okay. No real reason. I'm just gonna do it. Are you? I just to like torturing people. Genuinely? Yeah, I just like torturing people. All right, so I'm gonna block his hand. I'm gonna as he pulls it out, my hands, my hand goes to his wrist. You just grabbed your wrist, Jim. This guy isn't a good guy, Jack Bo. Yeah, but there's never a, a point in time where you want to cut somebody's penis off, Jim. That's just... There's one right now. How about his ear? Can I have an ear? That kind of thing. Can I have an ear? No. Can I have no, no, an ear? This guy's, obviously, this guy's obviously caught up in something he didn't mean to get caught up in, all right? We but he did, though. He, want, he, want, he wants this. He wants this. He wants all this power. He's a scumbag. Well, kind of... do you not want power, Jim? You're no. about to freak No, I'm a good guy. guy. I want, I want justice. Do I want are justice. You, are you nah. a good guy? Are you a good guy, nah. Jim? Yeah. Nah. I say fellow. we go with him. I are say, you, you I say buddy? we're the ones. <laughs> we're the ones that should take the power for ourselves. And oh. work with him. Please take what you want, he says. Look, I'll help you if you need be. He just said ah. take what you want, so... <laughs> I want a souvenir. Let's... let's... <laughs> Let's get let's Ready. get some let's get some info out of this guy and then let's cut this guy loose. We don't need to worry Try about this guy. We'll let him go. Check. We'll let him go out the front door. We, we don't need to worry about him. He's, he's, he's a big wizard that spells loads, cast loads of spells at us. Well, in all fairness, we did attack him. We just rolled right in and started cutting his people down. Yeah, well, he's he's here in the he's fucking end. of his ways. Six. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm gonna PM you something, Trent. Okay. He doesn't see the error of shit. Uh, I'm not having this. This guy deserves punishment. No, gonna... I. We're we're gonna keep him, and we're gonna get that power for ourselves. Adel, make an intelligence check, please. Well, how in the hell are we gonna take him with us? We got to go down this little cavern and go back up the other side. Do you think he's just gonna roll with us there? Oh fuck yeah! I grab the rope and I just tie it to him and chuck him down the <laughs> hole. <laughs> 19. Check your DMs. So if she as she starts to tie the, the, the ropes around him, I kind of, once again, I kind of, I intervene, I get in between them. And I'm like, just wait, just killing this person probably isn't, it, it, they know something. He knows something. I, we're not we killing need... him. We're bringing him with us. You were going to throw, you were just going to throw him 20 foot down. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to cast Zone of Truth. Oh. Yep, you cast Zone of Truth. Yeah, and I'm gonna ask... Describe to uh, me what the spell looks like. So, this is... Uh, <laughs> well, I start mumbling uh, noises, er, words in Goblin. Uh, in Goblin. Tears Goblin. roll down your eyes as well. No, oh, this, is not, this is not one of the tier... It's not on the tear spells. spells, no? Okay, no. Okay. This is not, this Sorry, can I just ask a question spells. related to D&D? Do wizards have to say words when they cast spells? No. No. Okay. Carry on. It depends on the spell, Jim. Jim, but make an intelligence check. In in real life or my character? In game. <laughs> in real life? We, we don't need to roll for real life, Jim. We know what's going to happen. <laughs> I created this uh, magical song. Uh, that guards uh, against deception. And th th in this zone, in this zone, like um, it's it's slightly translucent, but also like um, what's it called? When it it's it's brighter, but yeah. it's like weird colors. A ring um, of light on the ground. With yeah, but yeah, but weird, weird like happy colors uh, emit here in this zone. The zone of truth has been put down. Yeah. 
Uh, and it's an, on a point uh, of my choice, and that's right underneath the wizard. Um, so it's it's a big area, uh, right? Yeah, it's fifteen foot radius. So, so it's like, going to cover all of you. Yeah, we've yeah. all got to tell the truth. Yeah, including the wizard. But like people within here, like everyone in here knows that they can't lie. Wait, 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 no. They're compelled to tell the truth. I pick up a red pen a and say the color of this you pen is blue. Make a charisma saving throw. Yeah. So everybody needs to make a charisma saving throw to see if they're affected by it. And what's the DC of it? The DC? What does it, what's the requirement for the saving throw? Uh, should say on the spell. Uh, where did it go? If it, if it just says a saving throw with no DC, then it's eight plus your proficiency bonus. Yeah. Well, I it rolled a 19, say. so I'm definitely all right. I'm checking what it is now. It will be, yeah, it will be eight plus. And what is your, your main attribute for clerics is what, wisdom? So it would be uh, eight yes. plus your wisdom modifier. My wisdom modifier. Wisdom modifier. And that is zero. So at the top next to your hit points and armor class, you should have a proficiency bonus. Yeah, that's plus three. Yeah, so it'd be eight plus three, so 11. Well, I rolled a 19, you roll, Jim? so I can lie. Jim, you are not compelled to tell the truth. Yeah, but I know, I know who is compelled, Jump. Uh, like who, who succeeds to check yeah. and who doesn't. Jack Ball, what did you roll? Uh, I rolled a three. Okay, you're compelled to tell the truth. Trent, what do you, uh, what do you roll? Uh, 15. You're not compelled, and uh, Dado, you got a roll as well. Hmm? What, I got a roll? I believe you, you were in the zone. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. It doesn't affect me. Like it's my spell. Uh, unless it states that it doesn't affect you, it does. Just roll the dice, Dadle. <laughs> Let me roll for Lano. Nineteen doesn't affect him. Oh, oh sake. What are you rolling, Dadel? Um, seven. So on the side, make it. So you don't have to. No. So who failed the check? It was Jim. It was I passed. Jack. I rolled a nineteen. Oh, you rolled a nineteen. So J who who rolled lower than? It's just Jack. Just Ball. Jack Ball. Lower than the requisite. Just Jack Ball. Just okay. Jack Ball. So I'm gonna ask Jack Ball why he's trying to defend the wizard. Did you see my uh, PM there, PM Paul? You now. Yeah. He's just... I just don't think we... I don't, I don't have it in me to kill this guy. I mean, this guy is surrendered. He's... There's no reason to do this to him. I mean, we, I, we're know, not I'm trying to kill him. Why are you believing what he's saying? Say again? Why are you so keen to believe everything that he says? Like, we, we're not trying to kill him. But why are you so keen to believe well, everything? That apparently, we are trying to kill him because we got one person who tried to pull out his dagger and another one who tried to throw him down a pit. I wasn't trying to kill him. I was saying we'll bring him along with us. Yeah, this was just friendly potato thinking, throwing somebody, throwing somebody bound, <laughs> a bound <laughs> person <laughs> off down a twenty foot cliff was just a good idea to get them down there safely. <laughs> I just want to. I just think it's a good idea to get as much info out of this guy and then cut him loose because he's dead weight. I don't think we should kill him. I, I can. You know, I can tell. At this point, you're... I say, I say, I think you're right, Dalton. Let let me cut him free, and then I walk up there with my dagger, and then as I get there, I say to I say to Dalton, I say, look, an eagle. <laughs> Make a deception check, Jim. <laughs> Oh, like fuck it, off, like man. Why am I rolling so yeah. shit? I rolled a one. A natural one. Do I get a bonus a to the perception one. since we're indoors in a cave and there's no eagles? Yes, I know. That's yes, why, that's why I said it, because it was funny. So you, get a natural, so you roll a natural one, Jim. 
Yes, I rolled a natural. Right, I will be banking that for a bit later. <laughs> Thanks. And then anyway, I say that and then I just try and shank this guy in the neck. I stop okay, well, you. You can, have a, you can have a bonus to any action that you want to do. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm stopping his wrist again. Make a, make a sleight of hand check. You can re-roll it and add a plus four to it. So an 18 plus sleight of hand is 21, plus 4 is 25. Yes, you catch Jim's hand. And this you enrages are... you that he's tried to do this. Well, I was about to say, and you guys say... Right, so I, now, guys... right, so what I do is, I throw my dagger from one hand to the other, and then stab him with the other hand. Make a sleight of hand check, please, Jim. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Actually, no, you rolled a 1, you fail that. Oh, the good dagger point goes is, flying across the room, too, Jim. Jim. <laughs> Motherfucker, man. This is just dice. This is just bully Jim, dude. I give up. I just give up. I just sit down and say, what's the point? Just let, let him off, then, you idiots. You sit down on the floor, Jim. Is he crying? I... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I should have taken the motivation spell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you should. <laughs> I go over to, to Jim. I slap him in the face, and I say, I know that they've been charmed. You know that they've been charmed. I know you know. We can do this. You and me can fucking do this. We can outsmart this dumb ass shit wizard. And then I turn around and spit the wizard in the face. Are you going to assist him, Jim? No. No? No, well, there's no point, is there? Why is there not a point? There's no point. I'll just sit there. I think you should assist here, Jim. No. No? No. Okay. Jack Ball, roll please for that. Yeah. Uh, you guys see Jack Ball taking the manacles off. Yep, good. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna charm Tren. Go this has gone downhill fast. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to slit my own throat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you roll a one sometimes, Jim. Yeah, every fucking time, man. You don't, have, you don't have a dagger, so you can't slit your own throat. Yeah, your dagger's on the on the floor. You're right. You'd have to go pick it up. No, I won't bother then. I'll just sit down. I'll just sit down and wait for it all to end. You're going to eat some beans. Yeah, I'll eat some beans. I'll get the beans out and I'll eat them. Yeah. You can have a you can have a plus two, Jim, to any roll that you make now for, uh, for this encounter here. Thanks. I'm hyped up on beans. You've Is them there any like toast? Half of a tin of beans. Is there any toast? Oh, you look. There's actually some fire in the corner. Oh, uh, brilliant. You see some toast slightly roasting next to it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Beans on toast, and I'll just eat some beans on toast. You are, and I'll you say, good over. luck dying, you bunch of cunts. You pick up your dagger and you uh, you sit in there in the corner on your own eating your beans on toast. Fucking brilliant, brilliant. Is start rolling down your eyes. <laughs> All right, I charm Tren. Go for it. Uh, so Tren, you must make a wisdom saving throw. It'll be eleven here. You need to get. Uh, base. Uh, so add your modifier. 17, 17. you don't charm. The wizard is now free. He, uh, he turns to you guys and thanks you. Thank you for showing mercy as he, uh, as he starts to walk to the exit. Right. Well, thank you. As he walks to the exit, this has been I get my bow out and I shoot him in the back. Jack Bull is walking him down. Are you going to go for it, Jim? Yes. Okay. And I hope go Jack Bull attack. fucking gets in the way of this as well. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid face. As as Jim does this, I cast Pass Without Trace. Okay. So, a veil of shadows and silence radiates from me, mask it, masking me and my companions from detection. Mm -hmm. So, it's me and Jim are masked from detection. So, he has okay. a ten, plus 10 bonus. To, to Make sure to mark down checks. your spell slot. Make sure to mark it that you've used yes. that spell slot. Yes, yes. Okay, go on, Jim. I'll roll a 22. You hit him. Good. <laughs> Psych, you don't hit it. No, you hit him. Go on. 11 damages. 
11 points of damage. You uh, you fire you fire the bow and it hits him straight in the shoulder and goes all the way through. Jack Bull, you're enraged by this. Tren, you're not happy with this either. But they, I how stare did they at not? Jim. Jim passed without trace. Like, they can see Who else him. has a bow? They're Nobody dumb. has a bow, right? They're charmed by the dumb wizard. Well, but... They need to make intelligence checks if they're going to figure this one out. Make an intelligence check. Go on. We'll say it's 14. 10. 10. You don't figure out where the arrows come from. <laughs> Four. Four. An arrow? <laughs> an arrow? <laughs> they didn't uh, you see an arrow. You, you see an arrow just start pinging out of him. And you don't know where it's come from. <laughs> yeah, he goes down to one knee and, sh and screams as the arrow goes through his shoulder. Uh, I move him to the side slightly as best I can, being smaller than him, obviously, and then I take a defensive position with my blade out, protecting his body. Okay. Combat's now initiated. Everybody roll for, uh, roll for initiative. 14. 24. 14. Not 20. Okay, Jim first. Jank Bull. Uh, 14. Trim, what did you get? 14. 14. Uh, who's got the highest modifier? I've got plus two. What have you got, Tren? My initiative's plus four. Right, Tren first. And Demon Cock rolled a two. Fatal. Demon Cock's going on your turn, Jim. Oh, nice. Luckily for you. And the wizard is going to go after Tren. Oh, no. Okay. You're now in combat, Jim. It's your turn. Right, I'm just going to shoot him again. Okay, go for it. You're going to have to shoot past Jack Bull. There is a serious chance that you I will hit mind. Jack Bull if you are aiming for him. Oh, good, I rolled a three. So, uh, 11 altogether. You uh, you try and you aim for arrow. And, uh, and it pings off into the side of the cavern, Jim. You were close. It pings past Jack Bull's head. Nice. Oh, I'm not very happy about that one. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you've got a movement, you've got a bonus action, and you've got a verbal if you want to use it, Jim. Wake up, Jack Bull. He's a... Well, no, Dal Wake up, Dalton. He's a fucking wizard. And I'll backwards roll as well. Make an acrobatics check. <laughs> Five, uh, seven. Uh, you don't manage to. You uh, you start rolling backwards and you land on your back. You're not going to take any damage, but you're uh, you're on the floor at the moment. Good. You can use your movement to get up. Yep. If you want. Yep. And then you I'll take up. another bite of. Uh, I'll use my mega bonus action to have another bite of beans on toast. Go for it. Mega and what's uh, what's Demon Cock doing? <laughs> he's just. Uh, I mean, he he's, he he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to get cut down by a Jack Bull and his stupid sword. So Demon Cock will just, you know, sit with me and eat a bit of eat a bit of beans on toast. Gonna well. give him some toast. Yeah, yeah he's gonna give him some toast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just gonna sit in the corner and play with my cock. <laughs> <laughs> so do I think he's fired at me, or do I think he? Fired at the wizard and missed him. What does your character think? Probably 50-50, since he shot the wizard first. And it's ambiguous. No, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm, I'm looking down at him, and but... I, that's, that's up to your character to make that decision. All right, I'll, I'll roll a d6, and one through three, it's me, and four through six, also, it's the Also, Daka just said, wake up, he's a fucking wizard. I mean, you know, that is a thing. He knows that, that he's a... That should help he inform your decision. <laughs> okay, so I rolled a one, which means that I think it's Jim firing at me. Brilliant. Okay. Come on, Jim. Use that D&D &D knowledge. How are you going to get out of this? I don't. You can't just sit there and accept your own death. Yeah, I can. He's got a lightsaber. So? 
So I'll fireball him then. I'll fireball Jack Bull and the wizard. You can on your turn. Hmm. If I'm alive, you're gonna I fucking you, get it. I sent you PM faulty. <laughs> okay, yep. so at this point, I'm looking back at Jim and I'm looking around. I grab the wizard by his belt and I start lifting him up, like helping him to his feet, and I start running him down the corridor to get him the hell out of there. Yep. You get him out of the cave. And I tell him, you better run your ass off because I don't know how long I can hold them back. The wizard starts running and he goes off uh, He goes off into the forest. The charm spell has dropped. Start shaking my head a little bit, not really sure what the hell just went on, and, and look down and make sure everything's nice and clean and, yep. and, and start walking and I look off and see the wizard just sprinting his ass off. But, yep, he's long gone. Yeah, and then um, slowly come back into the cave. Combat's now gone. It's, uh, it's over. As Jack Paul comes goes, into right, the cave... Right, let's get on with this. Let's get back in this cave, boys. Like, nothing even went wrong or happened. Yeah, or... and as, as Jack Paul comes back into the cave, I walk over to him and kick him in the shin. <laughs> you're actually... Eh, no, you're a little bit shorter than me, but not by much. <laughs> yeah, which is why I kick you in the shin. And I say, it does you're one point fuck. of emotional damage. <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> and then I you walk back. Just shaking my head on occasion, rubbing my eyes, just just then I walk, know, almost then I like walk a, a slight concussion or something along those lines, but no physical, you know, difference then I, over there. Then I walk over to Jim and ask if I can have some beans and toast. No. Wow. Why? I tried helping you. Mine. <laughs> Your ass. You're like Gollum with the ring. Yeah. You're just sitting there with your. your Mines. Beans <laughs> Mines <there>. beans. <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> and I flick a stone at it. Like a uh, tiny pebble. So uh, appro <laughs> approach the cavern, the cavern's edge, the hole's edge there. Mm hmm. And uh, just kind of glance down and see the carnage and then. Yeah. There's still one rope attached to the to the stalagmite. There's no ropes going up the other side at all. No, there is not. But you uh, you look around and you guys find uh, some rope and a grappling hook. I look over at the ranger and I'm like, this this kind of seems like a job for you. Oh baby. Oh baby. Jim, this is a job for you. What? Jim doesn't know he's a ranger. No, he's going go down the thing. No, no, Jim, this is a job for you, buddy. Okay, well, we go down it's the thing. It's an important job. Yeah, what? You're, you're not going down. He's found a grappling hook and some extra rope. There are two exits of the cave, one on the north side, one on the east side. Which one do you want to take? North side. You want to take the north side exit? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do, Jim? Um, throw my grappling hook at Jack yeah. Bull's face. <laughs> if you want to try and do that, you're welcome to. I wouldn't recommend it. Though. He'll probably just catch it again, won't he? Um, I don't know. Yeah, get it. Throw it there. Get out. Climb out. Bob's your uncle. Yeah. If you uh, if you looked around for loot, by the way, Jim. No, I've got beans. Don't need anything. I'm assuming Trent has already done that. <laughs> <laughs> if there's dead people and they've got pockets, they've already Nobody's been checked. <laughs> Nobody's looked. You haven't checked through all the bedrolls and stuff as well? They're all still there. I would like to start looking through anything and everything. Make an investigation check, Trin. So what are you going to do, Jim? Are you going to take the rope, tie it off to the grapple, and uh, and try and toss it up? Yes, my extensive use of how grappling knowledge of how grappling hooks work, I'll do exactly what has to be done to you're ascend. A, you're a ranger. You would have used them before. You've had yes, training. but I mean, I'm not a ranger. Fault force. <laughs> I'm not a fucking ranger. <laughs> I ain't got a fucking clue, have I? <laughs> so, <laughs> so whatever that happens, uh, there I'm up there. But done. So you uh, you start swinging around in a circle, and you get a nice arc, and it uh, and it grapples on to the to the rocks on the other side. You now have uh, you now have rope that's twenty foot dangling down to the bottom of the cave. Great for the north side. 
Perfect. A 15, by the way, for my investigation. You don't find anything. Ah, oh, lame. These people suck. <laughs> Give me your rifling through stuff, going. make an investigation. Dade will make an investigation. And, uh, and Jack will make an investigation as well. What do you add for investigation? Your investigation modifier. Oh, I'm not 20 anyway. Jim, you, uh, you find something. No. Seven. You are going to find seven? Okay. Seven. You don't find anything, unfortunately. What did you get, Dadle? Fifteen. You don't find anything either. Um, Jim, you, uh, you're rifling through stuff and you look through on the satchels and you find boots of striding and springing. They, uh, they give you three times the jump distance and you can't be encumbered whilst wearing heavy armor. Oh, brilliant. Oh, wow. I've got, got acrobatics boots is what you're telling me. <laughs> Amazing. You can jump three times the height, three times the distance. Oh, yes. Let's go. Congratulations. Thanks. So what are we doing here? I'm climbing up the rope. I'm just so going to jump up now. <laughs> Jim, you can actually jump the chasm. Yeah, I'm just going to jump. <laughs> Jim, you're gonna make a uh, you're gonna make an athletics check with a plus six. Four. Thirteen, so nineteen. Explain to me how you make it to the other side. I jump. <laughs> Give me some more detail, Jim. What does it look like? Really far, a really long jump <laughs> through the air. You're gonna take a run up. Do you do a pirouette in the air? Or a pike, obviously. You're gonna do a, you're gonna do a somersault. <laughs> yeah, somersault. Yeah. You know, like how gymnasts do the whole thing when they run along and then do like a million things before they do the big one. We're gonna do that, yeah. That's I'm gonna do that, yeah. <laughs> well, you're gonna shout as you run through, this, as you fly through the air. <laughs> For <Fit> it, <in>, run! <laughs> you, uh, you do your front flips like a Sith Lord, and you, uh, and you manage to make it up to the top there. Glorious. Good job. Thanks. Obviously, you're doing this with the beans in your hand. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, we're still eating the beans and toast. <laughs> right, what are the rest of you guys doing? You'd have to climb down into the pit. I'm climbing down into the pit. Make a dexterity check for me, Tren. I'm going to assist her while she's doing it to give her advantage. Yep. 11. Add a plus two. Add 12, a plus 13. Two. And have you added your modifier to it? Yep. Okay, you, uh, you managed to get down to the bottom. I'm gonna Perfect. help uh, Dadle go, <laughs> go down as well. You can yeah. help Dadle. No worries. Dadle, make your uh, make your check. Sorry, I uh, my computer froze a bit. Give me a second. No worries. Jim, what? your uh, your demon cock is still over the other side, unfortunately. That's right, he can fly and he's a chicken. Oh, he's, he's not hes not on the other side yet. Hold on one second. No, he's, I'm saying he's over this side. He can fly he's a little bit, can't he? He can, he can right? like... He can, flap, well, he can flap down into the pit, yeah. yeah. Somebody's going to have to hoik him up. Yeah, someone four. can up. Four. A four? Yeah. It's a 20-foot drop. How much damage are you taking? You're going to take 1d6 bludgeoning damage for each. So you're going to take 2d6 as worth of bludgeoning damage, and you're going to take <laughs> 2 points of damage, 4 points, 6 points of damage as you fall well, down. Could have been worse. <laughs> it, could have been, it could have been much worse, to be fair, wow. as you fall down. Jack Ball, what are you going to do? I'm Demon not, Cock is still up there, by the way. I was going to say, I'm Demon gonna Cock. Up the, the I can speak to Demon Cock, can't I? Yes. Like psychically, so I shall say, flap down there, and then, and then, and then, yeah, so that you can flap down. Or, or Jim, it's only a ten foot throw. I'm gonna pick him up like a football and lob him to you. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Make a con check for me. Who? You. Constitution. Yeah. Oh God, you're fucking demon cock, Jim. <laughs> Thirteen. You toss him over to the other side. Well, hey. Catch him, Jim. Catch him. I'll catch him. Fly of hand check, Jim. <laughs> oh, thank God for that nine plus whatever. I don't know, 12 or something. Yeah, he goes 
he goes pelting into your chest, Jim. You get knocked back as he uh, as he lands on top of you and he starts licking your face. Hey, <laughs> I'm Brady, baby. <laughs> right, what are you gonna do here, Jack Ball? I'm gonna suggest to Jim that he helps the other two get up the other side, and then when they're safely over, then I'll go down and make my descent and go back up. Okay. Who's climbing up first? Me. Okay. Make a uh, make a constitution check. Twelve. Twelve. You uh you manage to climb up. Dadel. What are you gonna do? There's not much to do down here, is there? You're in a pit. <laughs> yeah. No hurry. <laughs> you gonna climb up? I'm gonna look at. I'm, I'm gonna look around in the pit. There are the two exploded red brands on the floor. And I'm gonna check if they have anything valuable on them. You uh, you rifle through and you don't find that much. I'm gonna take one of their cloaks and then I'm gonna start climbing up. Uh, it's very oversized for you. It would be very difficult for you to do that given the fact that you're a goblin. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to start playing now. Okay, make a con check. Wakey, wakey, Jim. You can have a nap afterwards. Mm. Uh, seven. You, uh, you managed to climb up halfway. And then you're uh, you kind of slip and you're starting to slide back down the rope. <laughs> Make another roll for me. I'm tired. I need to heal. Uh... Jim, you want a kebab? Would that wake you up? I ro or you want a cheeky five. Chinese takeaway? Trent, are you helping him on yeah. the other side? Maybe. Like... Yeah, I'll help pull him up. She's she's already uh, she's already up. At a yeah, at a plus she two. Can, she can stabilize the rope from the top and all that. Yeah. At a, pl at a plus two to my five. Uh, you don't get up again. Make one more check <laughs> for me, Christ, buddy. <laughs> Ninety. You Twenty-one climb the with the plus you, two. Yeah, you climb up the rope. Third time's the charm, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, right. what are you gonna do here? Down and up the rope. Yep. Make your uh, make your con check. Uh, first one, 13. Yeah, you slide down. Second one, 12. You climb up. Good job, that's the first room done. <laughs> Next room. Picked up our way through it. This off to the side for a little bit. Right, okay. We're going into the next room. Uh, these are mine tunnels. Um, an area in front of you is consisting of numerous intersecting passages. Maze-like ceilings, only about ten foot high or so. Very Minecraftian. <laughs> say say that last thing. You said something about high? Ten foot high. Anything else? No other information. Is there? Is it obvious what they may have been mining? Diamonds. Um, <laughs> make a history check. Fourteen plus zero. Fourteen. Large amounts of copium. <laughs> <laughs> I look over at Trent and I go... I give nice. it a good huff. <laughs> Huffing the copium. No, you um, you actually recall because you uh, you did a little bit of reading while you were in Vandalin. Um, the Wave Echo Caves, uh, a long time ago, the denizens of uh, of Vandalin basically all banded together to uh, to take the power from the Wave Echo Caves. Um, they got wizards all together, and a wizard sanctum was formed. Um, but there was something wrong that went that went on in the cave and there are no records of it and it was sealed shut and abandoned
Were they anti-Christmas by chance? Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, well, at this point, I think we should start listening and just make sure nothing else is kind of cruising around here. Yep. You uh, you don't hear anything. All right, guys, let's pick away. Okay. Um, I go. I let's go right. We're going to do this in segments. You can move three squares. So you're going to move one, two, three. Yep. Jim, where do you want to go? I'll follow Patea. One, two, three. Where's Demon Cock going? He's with me. Okay, being the same as the I'm, uh, I'm letting Dado go first and I'm bringing up the rear as usual. Dado, where are you going? Yeah, I'm following them. You're following them? Yeah. You bring up the rear. Okay. Trent? Mmm, straight. And then left or right? Left. Jim. Yep. Same. Dado. I want to peek into the right. You peek around the corner to the right here. Yeah? I'm going to move me back one. Right. Trent. Perfect. Straight to the right. Left or right? S right. Jim? Yeah. You following? Yeah. You uh, you going left or right? Following. <laughs> Jim, to your left, there is a, there's a glistening in the rocks. Oh, I'll run towards it and see what it is. Are you actually going to? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I love that. What a DM says, are you actually going to? <laughs> Your turn, Jackpot. And I'll shout, Patea, gold! <laughs> gold? Jim was, so at the, the top of that intersection there, because I want to make sure that I can respond to one to the right there. Yeah. To your, to your right? Yeah. Perfect, yeah, that's where Jim started. I want to make yep. sure I can respond to any of the three. Daniel. You start hearing oh, no. whispers in your ears. I do? Whispers of power. Detect evil. Gold. Detect evil. Okay, cast detect evil. Yeah. There is a great evil nearby. Can I tell from which direction it's coming? Everywhere. I scurry back and I tell uh, the others. You can move three steps, three yeah. blocks. You get to Jackball, you can make contact with him. Yeah, so I'm telling him there's great evil uh, around, like everywhere around us. Mm. Trend. My, my, oh, my, go on, my dim saber is still in my hands, but it's not lit up. Okay. Trend, your turn. To the right. So you're going to go up and to the right. You, uh, you yep. move up one square, and there is a shining and glinting coming from the rocks in front of you. I go directly towards it. Jim. Yep. Your turn. Yeah, look, look at this glinty stuff. There's, uh, there's light resonating from the back of the rocks, Jim. It's, it's showing through the cracks. Mm. Small stones, about the size of your hand. My hands aren't small. I have very big hands. <laughs> fondle it. <laughs> I will fondle the rocks. <laughs> like this, Jim. Like this. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. You, um, you reach out for the rocks, Jim, and the light just goes out and disappears. Oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> Sad. I'll turn around. It starts to feel a rumbling, Jim. Oh no. Jackpot. Yes. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Do I hear or see said rumbling or anything? No. So the goblin has told me there's great evil in this place. Jim's gone. Tread is gone. 
I'll move uh, yeah. two spaces to the left and kind of glance down for both Jim and Trent. Just look down both caverns. As you're moving over, some rocks start collapsing from the ceiling behind you, Jim. You can have a bonus action. I'll jump out of the way. You're going to jump out of the way. Make an acrobatics check. <laughs> you're now non encumbered, by the way. Well, hey. So on your sheet, you see where it says heavy armor on the right hand side, and there's yep. a little pin in it. Untick that for me. Okay. Um, yep. Boom. Oh, glorious. Right. Um, so, oh, so that means my dex adds to my armor. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Right. Because um, you have high dex, Jim. Yeah. You should have what now? 19 AC? I've got no idea what that means. Um, but 19 yes. armor class? Oh, 20, actually. <laughs> oh, look who's turned into the group's tank. Mmm, glorious. And I rolled an 18, and what is acrobatics plus 3? 21. You dive through as the uh, as the cave starts to collapse in behind you. Wonderful. You all start to feel the rumbling now. Right. Oh. It's time you to know, get these the voices. Out of your and These voices are, uh, are getting louder in your rear. Did you say louder in the rear? In his ear. Oh, okay. <laughs> in whose ear? All of our ears? Or Adels. Only they can hear him. Yeah. I told you. Now he's close enough to hear me. Where the hell's Tread? Shiny rocks. <laughs> Shiny, shiny rocks. Shiny rocks. <laughs> 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 do you tell him what you're going to do with that information? Jim? You're going to say something back? Uh, An okay thanks? What? Or a no shit Sherlock, considering you just tried to get... Somebody tried to kill you with the rocks? Somebody tried to kill you with the rocks? Oh, yeah. Don't, don't the get the just, rocks. Rocks just fall, Jim, and they almost killed you. Yeah, Patea, don't, don't touch the rocks. Shiny rocks. <laughs> See, <laughs> there's no point. <laughs> Patea, it's your turn now. <laughs> there's no I'm point. double fisted up fondling <laughs> these rocks. <laughs> you, uh, you grab the rocks and, uh, and they just lose all color. They're normal rocks. You start to feel a rumbling. <laughs> I move backwards. I'm like, stupid rocks. As you're moving back, rocks start to fall from the ceiling. You need to make a split second decision now. What are you going to do? Can, can we forward. hear this happening? Is this is this a magical effect that we could, <sighs> out of character we can't hear? Or do we hear like stuff falling? You can't hear it. You can see it happening. I run forward to the right. So the rocks, the rocks falling. You uh, you feel and you can you can hear right, but the uh, the rumbling you can't. What are you going to do, Patea? Forward to the right. Forward to the right. Make yep. a uh, make an acrobatics check to try and dive past the rocks. Eighteen. You dive past the rocks as the uh, as the exit caves in behind you. Perfect. Mm. So, so Jim said, "Don't touch the rocks." Right. Mm-hmm. Don't touch the rocks. All right, so nobody, nobody touch the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, what are you gonna do? Not He's touch the rocks. the rocks. It's your turn. Apart from not touching rocks, what are you gonna do? Uh, go left there, up one, left two. Okay, Jackball. I'm gonna stop at the intersection between Jim and Tren there. Dadal. No, I'm going to follow Jim. What are you going to do? You're going to follow? I'm, gonna, I'm following Jim. Okay. Tren? I go to the right. Jim, make a, uh, make a perception check for me. Oh, fuck me. Uh, 
rolled a nine, but I've got some plus. What is it? Perception? Yeah. Thirteen. Check your PMs. No. Oh. So I'm gonna kneel down slightly to Dado there and say, "Stick with, uh, stick with Trent. I'm gonna stick with Jim. They're obviously under some kind of something's going on here." All right. Can I shout, Faulty? Can I shout? I don't know. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Are yeah. You? Go on. Yeah, you can shout. I shall say, "Watch out! There's trip wires around." Trent, you are currently out of range to hear that. Oh, God. <laughs> it's your turn, by the way, Trent. I go down. How far? Down good. here? Yep. Okay. You trigger a tripwire. <laughs> As is tradition. Right. Uh, we've got one, two, three, and four. Let's roll four sided dice. Daedal. You get hit by a dart in the back of your uh, your neck, <laughs> and you collapse to the ground. Fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Does Dadel see this? No, he's blacked out now. He's Dadel? just collapsed. You see him. You turn around. You see him lying on the floor. D oh, Dadel is. I thought it was Trim. Trim triggered the trip wire. And it shot Dadel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 do you realize? Do you realize what they were aiming for in order to hit a goblin in the back of the neck? <laughs> <laughs> Very oh, true. They, they were aiming for the cock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, you gonna? It's your turn. Are you gonna disarm the trap? I will. I will attempt to disarm the trap. Make a sleight of hand check with a plus four advantage, please. Oh. Where he rolls a natural one. I didn't actually seven altogether. <laughs> you disarm the trap. Nice. And then I shall right. go right three, looking very carefully, like right or then right then up. Yeah, go right, turn right, and then go up three, um, looking very carefully for more gonna, trip wires. Make gonna... a perception check, please, Jim, with advantage plus four. Oh. I'm gonna loud whisper. Nineteen. Just so... Jim can hear it. I'm going to tell him Dadle's down. Dadle's down. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. Trip to your left, Jim. Trip wire to your left. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll get rid of that right, one. What well, are you guys going to do now, the other the other three, while Jim is off exploring? I go left. You're going to go left? Yep. You are uh, in front of you now. You see Dadle, Dadle's limp body on the floor. <laughs> I pick him up and put him on my back like a farmer or fireman carry. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Farmer. Make a strength check for me. <laughs> like You've got Blaster. a small poodle on your neck. <laughs> Farmer carrying a ball of hay. It's going to be a low strength check. What did you get? 14. Yeah, you, you five man carrying him. Jack ball. Okay, so I'm going to tell Trent, follow me slowly, and I'm going to pull out <laughs> my staff, and I'm going to tell her, hug the walls. And then as I move forward, I'm kind of feeling with my staff along the ground, mm -hmm. you know, lifting up. I know that Jim, there's a chance that Jim has stepped over one of these or if it's low or things like that, so. Make a perception check. Plus four because you know what's going on. 16 plus perception, 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 18 There total. is a pressure plate on the floor in front of you that Jim has managed to step over. Okay, I'm going to point out the pressure plate to Trent, and I'm going to say, don't step there. And I'm going to take a nice wide step around the edge, like while my back is yep. against the rocks, and go around. Okay. I'm I also intentionally gonna step on it. Something. Are you actually going to step on it? 100% I am, yeah. <laughs> right, you step on the pressure plate. Let's see it who gets nice attacked. You, Let's see who gets attacked now. Dadle, you get hit again. <laughs> Let's see what you get hit by. I, I Turns out you, got, you don't get hit by anything. Arms tonight. <laughs> it must there is a, something you did. You guys hear a, a very, very loud rumbling. And behind you, there is now a rock chasing you. A rock now chasing us? symbolized by the skull. Dun, 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 dun. I'll Let's jump out of the way it. and say, fuck you guys. <laughs> Yeah, the rock is rolling towards you at a very fast speed. The rock? 
Well, you're Dale, you're out cold. I you're, am you're out cold at the moment, Dale. Do, do I smell what he's cooking? Johnson. What he's cooking? Yeah, do I smell you what smell he's beans, cooking? Jim. You smell beans. No, you just said the rock's rolling towards us, so I said, do I smell yeah, so what you he's smell cooking? smell beans, yeah. <laughs> okay, right, I, am, do, I am going to immediately one. just duck to that left I'm give myself there. an inspiration point. You're going to duck to the left cavern. You can have an inspiration point, sure. <laughs> yep, I'm dunking that cavern to let that thing roll right on by. And I'm yeah. grabbing Jim and trying to pull him with me. No, I was already, I'm already there. Like I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna run in front of it like fucking Indiana Jones, the idiot. Just go to the side and you're safe, aren't you? Friend, what are you gonna do? Take I go to the right. Me. You're gonna go to the right. So yep. you're gonna run up here. No, 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 no. No, that's not you, right. That's, the right. That's up. That's up. To the right. Oh, you want to go here? Here. Okay. Yeah, with with Dado. He's like, you're gonna run in front of the rock. It's like there, what? <laughs> right. The rock gets here, and then it starts rolling towards you, Tren. It changes I, direction. Oh roll. shit! I go, I go, um, forward and up. Right, you're gonna have to make a dexterity check here, please. Do we see the rock turn to the right there? Yeah, you do. Man, I wish you'd got me to do like the rock's face for this. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> okay. Keep running. Where are you going? To the right. Up and around three. Yep. Okay, uh, make another, in this case, actually, make an athletics check for me, please. Nine. The rock gains ground on you. Shit. It, uh, it gets to the end here and then starts, it just suddenly starts bolting around the corner to you. I bolt around the other corner. Make uh, another athletics check. Ten. The boulder is right behind you. I do a backflip over it. With Dadle. <laughs> With Dadle. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to inform you here <laughs> again that the uh, that the cavern is ten foot high. <laughs> and how big's the rock? Ten foot. About six foot four. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> I uh run on, forward. Trent. Okay. There's thoughts are processing slowly. Um, and I you fake got left. Time. You gotta go. You I fake left, left, and I go right. <laughs> Make a dexterity check for me. She's trying to juke him with Dale under her arm like a freaking Heisman trophy. <laughs> Tr tricking oh. the rock. Athletics? Dexterity. Dexterity? 14. The uh, the boulder goes smashing into the pillar and uh, and crumbles to dust. You've evaded the boulder. Congratulations. Nice. Good. Right. What are you going to do now to get back to them? I'm going to go up. You're going to go up here? Yep. Are you sure? 100%. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant Dave, you, uh, trend. We always do. You could outwit a rock. <laughs> Dado, you're awake now, by the way. I look up at Trent and, and smile at her. Right. Whilst that's going on Jackball Jim, what are you guys going to do? <laughs> well, so... Trend went one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Trend moved about five turns there, and I realized you, you didn't move. Turn. Turn <laughs> movement. Wait, I, I also tell uh, Trend that there are uh, trip wires, so she will, she should watch out. So I I would have been right on the I would have been right on the rock. Two different things. You're going. gonna be running. You're gonna be running behind the rock, yeah. Yeah, because it's rolling through any trip wires across any plates. No, yeah, clever. I'll follow Jack Bull because he seems a wise fellow. Yeah, you're there. Is there anything remarkable about said rock? I mean, it's it's following her, so it literally. Cr this is the this is the weird thing. It crumbled into dust. There is a pile of ash on the floor. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a handful of that dust and ash, and I'm just gonna put it in a pouch. I'm taking it with me. Okay. Just a small handful. Nothing crazy. Good choice. No, note that down. Have I'll do the same. 
You don't get an inspiration, Jim, but Jack will have an inspiration. <laughs> well done. I've already got an you inspiration. Don't get one, Jim. <laughs> you do, but, Jim, yes. But I see Jack Bull doing that and I think, hmm, that might come in useful. I'll do the same. <laughs> no, you think, hmm, Jack Bull thinks that might come in to you come in useful. I'll do the same. Yeah. You don't think it's coming <laughs> going to No, come I do, useful. I do. I, I see him doing that and I think, do you know what? He's not he's <laughs> That's a good idea. I'll do the same. What's the plan here? Are there steps where Patea is? They are. Let's go up the steps. Let's get out of here. Patea, you going up the steps? Oh, yeah. Did okay. she put down the goblin yet? No, <laughs> I'm still holding just him. riding on her shoulders? <laughs> are we going to wake are up? Gonna are we going to wake up Daedal? We could, we could wake up Daedal and... Uh, I'm, he's I'm, already I'm awake. awake. I'm, I'm alerted. He's still just getting carried friends. for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> I've been hit three times and I fell. Like, Jim, he is gonna, a king after all. He should have touched injured. the ground. You you get a little bit jealous and you uh you pull demon cock up onto your shoulders and fall and carry him. So so Jimmy has to uh Jimmy has Jimmy has to wrap his, his his demon abyssal cock around his shoulders in order to carry it. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> He does. He does. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, he gives you a kiss on the cheek, Jim. Nice. Your, your cock loves you. It's a nice wet kiss for a chicken. Mmm, delicious. So are we going up into this room, yeah? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up the rear again, please. Right. As you, um, as you look around the corner... Ooh. You are. You go up the stairs slightly. Oh Jesus Trent. Christ! I've seen their dice. Mm. <laughs> In this room here, there's a, there's a steep. Uh, you know, you can't see that at the moment. It's basically a large cavern in front of you at the moment, Tren, with uh, with some ghouls in it. Interesting. Did you say ghouls? Ghouls. Ghouls. Or hey, Daryl, you think you we kill. could take them? Nasty, nasty creatures. Make a history. Everybody make a history check for me, please. History? Don't know much about history. <laughs> Don't 17. know much about George. George. <laughs> right. What 12. did you get, sorry? 12. 17. 15 plus something. 16. Right. So, you, uh, Jim, you relay this to the to the group. Uh, ghouls have paralyzing touch. If they uh, If they touch you, you're you're paralyzed. No oh, man. I've got I I rolled a ten, but I'm also a cleric. Shouldn't I know this? You'd know this as well, yeah. And you relay the information. But well, you don't relay anything because you're just you're, you're just being carried around. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just relaying it to Trent. I'm not <laughs> sharing it with the others. <laughs> So then that means we just need to kill them faster than they can touch us. Hey, you they know touch what? you, you are paralyzed. So, you know, Dale, this you is know what I can do? Really, brother, about the, the awesome I can destroy your it undead. Oh. <laughs> do so, it. This is going to be, this will be a turn, right? Versus a destroy? Couldn't what? we just stay in the hallway here? Like, couldn't we just stay in, like, this corridor and then sort of limit their numbers, you know, like 300 style? That seems a good idea, doesn't it? Things we can't afford them to touch us at all. Well, I can. Are, what I can there, do is I can I can turn an undead and then have that one run rampage on the other undead. There may be other exits to this cave. Just the thought. Mm. Well, do you want to do it my way or do you want to do it the boring way? The highway. Your way. Bear in mind, if you get touched by them, you are paralyzed. It's your choice as, a, as the group of adventurers. I think we should I would definitely. highly recommend... I'd highly recommend not attacking the ghouls here. Yes, let's be cautious. I'm not... I, I'll put it this way. I only need there to is... turn one undead and then have that one running around pointing his finger at the other undead. And then they're so, all paralyzed. But they're immune to it because they're undead. Well, it's a good thought, though. It's a, it's a good, it's a good thought. But no, can I have no an yes, you can. Yes, <laughs> it's a good thought. <laughs> it's a good thought. It's a good idea, 
just in practice, useless. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, then Much we're like... not doing that. I recommend we turn around. Okay. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. <laughs> you back up. <laughs> I'll be I honest with you, <laughs> probably best you did that. Beep, There's like beep, a 99.9% <laughs> chance of immediate I'm, death there. I'm, I'm looking over her shoulder. Pointing now and now and now. Start doing the tractor noise. Beep, beep, beep. beep. <laughs> Are you guys moving? What are you guys gonna do? Let's go to the northwest corner of this little section. So up here. Yes. Are you guys going with? Yeah. Yeah. Nay. Nice. Oh, we're going up. Okay. We're, I thought. Okay. So we're not gonna go to the one immediately to our right. That's right here. Oh, you northwest. Do you want to go? He said he wants to go northwest. So it'd be up here. Okay, no, we'll go to the closer one. I didn't see that, to be honest. <laughs> we can go to the closer one if you want. Yeah, it makes sense to go to the closer one. Okay. Um, you guys go down here, and there's uh, there's actually a door as you go around. Mm -hmm. I oh, kick it open. Cat for this one, baby. We know doors. <laughs> are, you go are you going to kick down the door? I'm kicking no, down the no, door no, no, no. as Dale, loud Dale. as possible <laughs> with Dale. Dadle on my shoulder. <laughs> I start as she as, as I can I can't tell what she's going to do until her foot actually uh, hits the door. But as I as I notice, I start banging my, <laughs> my tiny goblin hands on her back. No! It is uh, it has disturbed you enough, Trent, that you can uh, you can choose to put him down if you want to. No, he stays. It's like ratatouille. <coughs> try and get down, Dadle, or are you gonna? Nah, no? I'm just protesting the dumb choice to kick down the door loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, oh, no. <laughs> maybe a rock is the limit of what you can outwit. <laughs> Since I've just revealed that, I'm going to give you a choice to wreck on your decision, Dren. Fuck no, I already committed okay. to it. Fine, you kick down the door. <laughs> Fine. Fine. You kick down the door. Um, you should have listened. You see, you really should have. You really should have listened. Um. Right, as you enter the room, you can see old stone bunks uh, in an orderly row, lining against the walls. Um, corroded iron uh, pillars full of old coals standing near the middle of the room. Um, there's a bone. There's bones of about a half dozen dwarves and orcs that are lying strewn about, uh, clad in scraps of armor. Three grey hunched figurines uh, squat amongst the remains, pawning scraps and gnawing at the bones. They what are they? Are they, are they ghouls? I mean, they I can't see indeed. them. But you can, you're on their shoulders, but yeah, they are indeed ghouls. Oh, Combat's now just... initiated! Roll for initiative! Yes. Woo! This was the worst decision you could have made. Standard, honestly. 18, <laughs> 1 8. Okay. <laughs> Oh 13. god, eight altogether. What did you get, Tren? Uh, 18. I carry a okay. plus three. I think she's a plus four, so she'll go first. Yeah. That's not a good idea. This is a really bad idea. <laughs> And the ghouls have rolled a natural 20, so they're going first. God. <laughs> well done, Trent. <laughs> Dadle's about to have a real bad day, courtesy of... Uh... <laughs> it wasn't they, uh, me! They look up to you. 
they look up at you and they uh, and they start screeching at you. Um, moments after, you notice the uh, the creatures start to notice you. Their milky blue eyes immediately lock with yours. Drool starts dripping from their maw as you uh, as you as they can think they can taste flesh. They drop their current meal and start rushing towards you. Goodbye, Tren. <laughs> Natural twenty. So they're uh, they're gonna hit you, Tren. <laughs> they are going to do. Eleven points of necrotic damage. You paralyzed and you hit the floor, blocking the doorway. The next school is going to run forward. He's going to roll a four. He starts pulling off your shoes and tearing at your clothing. <laughs> Pulled off her shoes. <laughs> yeah, he's just—he's literally clawing. The other one is—is uh, is going to hit you as well, Trent. He's going to dig into your legs and he's going to do 11 points of damage to you, Necrotic. And he starts tearing the, uh... He's basically torn a hole in your leg at the moment. You can see the bone through your leg. Ouch. Right. It is now your turn, Tren. You're paralyzed. How much health do you have? Not enough. So, How four. much do you have now? Four. Four, okay. So, um, I'm... Thinking Patea's dying, but as my dying wish, I cast darkness on Daedal, and I just whisper, "Save you can't. yourself." You're paralyzed. I can't even speak. You are paralyzed. Do I need to speak to cast it? Uh, you cannot cast anything. You are paralyzed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. You're currently well, lying on the floor. I accept you're, my uh, fate. You're still conscious, but yeah, but yeah, you can I feel all this pain. You fate. cannot do I anything. accept my fate. <laughs> Jackball, your turn. <laughs> okay, so from my point of view, what do I see here? You see, it's a very tight corridor. You uh, you can peek around the corner and see Trent on the ground with her leg getting torn open. Uh, Daedal has fallen off behind her and is basically trying to get away, and Jim is just standing there. Watching it unfold. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shove Jim forward, not into the ghouls, down, so he goes around the corner. You wanna let him do this, Jim? No, I'm gonna like grab his hand. You're going like to it. resist? Yes, I'll resist. Okay. Make a make a strength check. Make sorry, constitution check for me. I'll resist. Stop bullying me, Jackpot. Jim. He, he, Jim, he's trying to save. 18. He's trying to save Tread. Eighteen. Um, you resist. Good. Okay, then Jack, I'm gonna reach down and grab Dado by his little, his little army uh, drag kit that he always wears, there? being a goblin king of the army there. <laughs> and his his, uh, his Are you drag to safety? And I'm dragging him back, and I'm moving back down that corridor. Back down here. <laughs> yeah, I can't. He won't let me get Trem, so I'm grabbing the little guy because I can at least reach him. Okay. You've now got, you've still got movement left on your turn and a main action. I'm, say it was pulling, a bonus action. I'm, I'm pulling out my uh, dim saber and lighting that thing up, and I'm telling Dado, get behind me, and if they start coming, be ready to turn them. Are you running forward? No, hell no, I'm back out. there. Jim, okay. Jim ain't coming, Jim ain't coming. I, I throw Dado behind me, though. Dado, your turn. Yeah, I dart between uh, the legs of Jackball. Wait, no, no I'm bigger than Jackball. Uh, I dart past Jackball. And yeah. I uh You're gonna ready your turn. weapon. I, no, I cast turn undead on the undead. Have to be in line of sight. Yeah, that's why I'm running past Jackball. You're up here. So are you running down <gasps> down here? Yeah, I'm running back to where he dragged me from. <laughs> just so I can see the ghouls. Not onto the ghouls, but so I can see all three yep. of them. And then I cast turn undead. Okay. So they got to make a wisdom saving throw. All yep. undead within 30 feet that can see here me must make a wisdom save. What is the, what's the DC for it? 11? What do you mean DC? Is it, is it 11? The requirement of the saving throw? 
I don't know. If it doesn't it specify, it's eight plus your modifier, then. Yeah, so my modifier is three. Okay, give me a minute. Okay. So plus your con, so it's a plus eight plus your con modifier. Okay. Just double check what you do with this turn on dead. They gotta run away from me, so I can like stand on. So top you of hold the your you hold your holy symbol above you, and you make a you make a roll plus your wisdom. Okay. They're going to fail. Uh, they're going to roll a natural one, and they're going to get terrified by your holy symbol and yes. run back into the corner of the room trying to cower and hide from it. So I walk up to Tren. Uh, Just and paralyzed stand on, on the floor. Yeah, I'm standing on top of her uh, so that um, they can't get near her. Okay. Uh, do I have any actions left? Uh, you can have a movement and a bonus. Yeah, can I pour a... Like, um, my potion that I didn't use from last time, the one that you I rolled, don't know what it is. Rolled. <laughs> what? Have Just you use rolled? a healing potion, dude. What? Have you made a roll? Because you have to make a roll as well. Do I? Yeah, you have to roll plus your whiz. So eight plus your whiz modifier. Well, 16. Plus okay. my wisdom modifier, so, which is zero. So in that case, um, you can hold it for as long as you want, and no one dead can reach you because you've got a plus ten. Um, you've the caused them. Yeah, so it's plus ten. You've caused you. them to flee. Uh, aggression breaks the effect, and they are able to act as normal. Intelligent undead may be able to find. No, they're not intelligent, so that's fine. So you can hold it for as long as you want now, Dadel. Yeah, all right, good. Then Tren is safe as long as I'm standing on top of her. Yeah. Uh, so. I can I also pick up my potion that I don't know what it is and pour it down Tran's throat. Which one? The one that I, the super the sparkling potion. black one or the the purple one? <laughs> I the one that just I use a healing potion. You have it's, multiple, Dadel. It doesn't matter. Dadle, like a which color? Potion. Which color, Dadel? The per, the purple one. The shiny one. You uh you open it up and you pour it down her throat, and Tren, you disappear. <laughs> Perfect. Gim, your turn. Wait, right. does she actually disappear? Or does yes, can she I just disappears. Not see her? Right. Camera, why? Why you do this? There's no reason for you to do this. Disappears as in turns invisible, or disappears <laughs> as in like she disappears out of thin air, Jim. Out of thin air. So she's no longer here. No longer here. I'll just loudly exclaim, thank fuck for that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I probably time, deserve Jim. that. <laughs> oh, God. Um, can we execute these ghouls while they're still scared? You can attempt to, but it's an act of aggression. The problem is, if you make an act of aggression, it will uh, it will break the warding. Right. Okay. Well, let's not do that then. Eh? Let's just uh, let's just like let's just shut the door and retreat like Homer Simpson back into the bush. We're <laughs> <laughs> we gonna. Uh, yeah. All right. Yep. You shut the door, Jim. Yeah. Oh, I can have a look in the room first. Should we look in the room first and see if there's anything interesting, actually? Yeah, no, before I shut the door, look look in the room and see. Like, look around. We can search the room. They're, they're not dangerous at the moment. We can, like, search the room. Yeah, let's search the room. That makes sense. If for any reason that ward goes down, they will attack you, though. But how could it go down? Many ways. Oh, God. Trend could I'm not allowed to. I, I can't tell you, Jim. Yeah. I think the whole Simpson strat was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's let's do that. Let's just shut the door and fuck off. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. The uh the door, by the way, Jim, is opening inwards. So towards where you are currently standing. Alright. And 
if that's going to influence your decision at all, that's your choice. I'm just giving you the information. So you're going to leave? Ma'am, I'm going to open the door. So, no, no, the door's currently open, Jim. Yeah. What I'm saying is open towards you. Yeah. Currently. So words, when you go gonna, through it and you come back, block this door. you're we're going to pull to... it. Yeah? Right. Okay, now if he... Dadel gets gonna... what I'm talking about. No, sorry, Jack will gets what I'm talking about. Yeah, Dadel, are you going to... Should you tell him about the whole line of sight thing? I mean, I only need that to cast the spell. They're, they're then afraid of me. Whilst they can see the holy symbol. Oh, all right. Well, then, yes, I'm going to tell him about that. So don't we have... Do, well, okay, Dadel, so hold, we hold your hand. Here, hold your here. holy symbol out of <laughs> the corner and then shut the door and pull it back at the same time. I mean, we don't... Do, uh, yeah, all right. So if we close the door, we need to fucking move, like, okay. with so, legs yeah. on our fucking... Let's need, let let need to check something quickly. Okay, so um, maybe we could try and no, no. Wait, 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 maybe we could try and execute them all simultaneously while they're all <laughs> That's afraid. Not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Okay, so we need to deal Dale, with them somehow. Dale has. I would no. If we're gonna we're gonna fucking disappear like Tren. I would just they're like to point out know where we are. Gulls have humanoid figures. They have arms. They have hands. They have fingers. They are humanoid. Oh, you're saying so they can just open the door? Open the door but, yes, by, but by the time they open the door, we're going to be gone. No, I think like, that's a terrible idea. I think we no, need, we're, we're, we need we're to... We're unfortunately not going to be gone. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to execute all three of them at the same time. I think we need to do a all coordinated right. execution. All right. I could fire a fireball at them. That might just kill all three of them at once. Okay, so let me make. Can I, I ask you a question? Here? Being, being, fireball, Jim, ghouls being undead, undead are uh, un undead are weak towards fire. Oh, brilliant! Okay, Dadel. Burn, baby, yeah. burn. Shall I just, shall I just kill them all? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> you have a turn, Jim. You can do it if you want to. Yeah, I'll have a look. I'll have a look at the wizard of this spell, right? Do I only cast? Can I only cast one a day? Oh, uh, how many spell slots have you got? I don't know. Look at the bottom of you. It's like the top of your spell list. I've got how many like pips have you got? Four first level and two second level. Okay, it's a second level spell here. Right. So it's, a, it's technically a third level spell, but you're going to be casting it as a second level spell. So I'm going to adjust numbers. Four. Right. I'll, fi I'll cast the fireball then. Okay. Right. Uh, a bright streak, Jim, flashes from your pointing finger, and you uh, you point within a radius, and uh, there'll be a loud explosion of flames that fires at them. Nice. Each creature is going to, uh, in a 20-foot radius, is going to have to make a dexterity saving throw, or he's going to take 8d6 worth of fire damage on a failed save. Hmm. Okay. And the save halves, it's they're still gonna get fucked if they say. Shut the door when you cast the spell. <laughs> they failed Jim. Four. How does it happen? It's a big fireball, isn't it? <laughs> no, how did you cast it, Jim? Take take me through it. I say <laughs> Use that role playing skill, go on. I say Abracadabra <laughs> Fireball <laughs> And there it goes. <laughs> It explodes, there's fire, and they all get burnt to a crisp and die. Jim. The, uh, the room, by the way, is uh, going to be engulfed in flames. But if you don't dodge out of the way, so are you. Yeah, I'll... I'll it's just going to come rushing backwards, out. Backwards roll after I've done it. Make an acrobatic check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I keep shutting the roll, the roll dice sight. Um, oh god. <laughs> um, 11. You, uh, you don't manage to roll backwards, but you manage to stumble backwards and, uh, and smack your head against the wall. Take two points of damage. Wonderful. But yeah, the, uh, the entire room is burnt to a crisp. Combat is over. Good. Trent, 
you're uh, you're still paralyzed, but uh, but from your character's perspective, you've uh, you've just teleported somewhere. <laughs> still in this realm, or still in this realm? Okay. Oh, Internally, I'm screaming, help me. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Help me. Uh, from what you've seen, by the way, Daedal, and you put two and two together, seeing what happens to Tren, if she doesn't get immediate medical attention, she is going to bleed out. Or at least lose a leg. What? But... Why right. did you give her the wrong fucking potion? I'm just gonna slap. I'm gonna slap the little goblin and say, "Why the fuck did you give her that potion? You idiot! You legitimate idiot goblin!" And out of the way, idiot. At the time, it was not made clear that she was idiot. gonna die from the wound she'd already taken. Her leg bone leg was, was torn open, open, and you could see the bone. <laughs> well, that part. as was stated to you many times, <laughs> that, that part is just. <laughs> I was busy trying to get the ghouls off of her and then her out of the way. Right. What Mission are you guys accomplished. Well, I'm gonna tell the others that we should probably find Tran before she's dead. Make a perception we can't check see me. her, Dadal. No, that's why we need to find her, Jackpole. No, she's invisible, Dadal. We can't no, see her. She's just not a natural here. twenty. No, no, she got a uh, she got a natural twenty. Not, teleported she's rather. Not unnatural, invisible. unnatural, unnatural twenty. Um, Tren, you are uh, you get picked up by a figure. You don't know uh, you don't know who or what has picked you up. But he did bring you a sandwich. He <laughs> gives you a sandwich. Pretty good deal. Right, what are the rest of you guys going to do? So we saw um, Daedal um, make her invisible, correct? No, she's no. not invisible. She got teleported. Teleported somewhere. You poured, a tele you poured a, an invisibility potion down her throat. No, it was no not, not invisible. Potion. She it was disappeared as in teleported, teleported You think somewhere. about that, Jackball, and you uh, you go to where she was lying, and you kick in front of you, and, uh, and there's nothing there. <laughs> and I asked Jackball, why the fuck, if she was dying, would you kick her? Because if you thought she was there, you know if she's still there because you poured a purple <laughs> drink down her throat. You yeah, literally but... sent her a roofie, Dadel. No, I sent her away from the ghouls trying to kill her. Are you going to argue with me or are you going to try to help me save her? I mean, you I'm down for not trying to you, save her, to be honest. None of you <laughs> knew what the potions do. Yeah, you have no idea. What, you just you just could have literally given her a potion of healing and you gave her an unknown potion instead. That's mental. If I, could, if I gave her a potion of healing, like, how would that help her if the ghouls kept gnawing at her? Keep her alive longer. She could take more hits. Uh, well, I did what yeah, well, I did. I'm not sorry hey, for you it. You know what? No, no, no. It was a fine choice. The characters are entitled to be upset with you. But as a GM, yeah. I think it was a fine choice. I am not sorry, and I am gonna start looking for her without listening to these guys harass I me think my, my character is very entitled to slap his stupid goblin face yeah, <laughs> for I'm making dumb. such a stupid, <laughs> such a stupid <laughs> decision. Not only verbally, but also physically. So I'm going to be prepared for him trying to slap me. <laughs> you, you, now, you now flinch every time <laughs> Jimmy moves. <laughs> what? Right, so I'm going to tell these guys, get it together, all right? My whole plan was to get the hell out of here and, we and, and start and running away. I think we should go and search that room that I've fireballed anyway. Yeah, I run the other way trying to find Tran. You're running off on your own? Yep. Far away mm. from these two. Brilliant. Okay. Jim, you walk up to the room and it is completely charred. There is skeletons strewn across the floor from the ghouls. Everything is burned. 
The entire room is covered in charcoal and ash. You have destroyed this room. Mm -hmm. Good. Well done, Jim. Are there any Thank exits? <laughs> nope. Oh, there's, a, there's technically a door to the... Uh, to the... The south side, however, it has been uh, completely melted shut. No. Sad. Big sad. Big. You sad. can attempt to pr you can attempt to pry it open should you want to. What's he doing? Um. Jimmy from it's a hard bit. one. It's, it's a hard one, isn't it? Uh, I'll Jimmy's. try and pry the door open. Have you got a crowbar, Jim? Yep. Have you actually? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Actually, let me check. I'm pretty Jake sure. I do. Jack, Ball, what are you doing? Chest with going? crowbar. Yep. Perfect, Jim. You can have a plus four. Plus try four. and pry open this door. I'm not going to tell you what the value is though. That you need to hit. Oh fuck me! I rolled a nine anyway. Nope, you can keep trying if you want to, though. Yep. Jack, well, what are you doing? What's this is going on? 13, so like 17. You succeed, Jim, but it's going to take you a couple of turns to do it. Way. How far is Daniel down that corridor? Is that as far as he's gotten? Yeah, no. you can catch him. No, I'm all the way down him. there. I don't want to catch no. him. I want to move I to where he is. Card and wheel and that, ran off. I am watching up that corridor. Just to, just to clarify, are you actually cartwheeling down the corridor? <laughs> yes. Make an acrobatics check. <laughs> I am a nimble goblin, and I prepare. I put, I put guidance on myself for this. Okay. <laughs> I love how he's wasting his. Uh... Yes. <laughs> this is brilliant. You need to get away from that guy trying to harass me. When you can try and make a perception check. <laughs> what was the check I was gonna do, by the way? Acrobatics. Twenty-four. Trent, you are being carried by another drow. Next twenty. Oh. You make an acrobatics check and you start cartwheeling. I'm oh, fast as you can do. Because I'd roll a nat 20, like I get momentum from this. And... You do. It's a really hard decision because you guys are... <laughs> well, no, so, so, uh, so I wasn't even trying to catch him, so I'm just kind of strolling up slowly, kind of watching this little green thing go head over tea kettle, <laughs> you know, heads, feet, head, or I'm sorry, hands, feet, hands, feet, hands, feet, <laughs> down this corridor in front of me. And I'm going to stop where he started there. And I'm just watching up that corridor where these other friggin' ghouls are to make sure they're not coming down the stairs. Yep. Dad will make a perception check for me. Move me one more forward there. There you go. 19. Thank you. 19. You're coming up to a wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm turning the you wall. You can't stop yourself from cartwheeling. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm stopped the cartwheeling. This make cartwheeling was just check. starting. That was just starting to... <laughs> Uh, 14. 14. You, uh, you just about managed to stop yourself as you skid across the floor. This, this was ages ago. I did cartwheel, I did a forward roll, cartwheel, and then started sprinting. I, Are I you not cartwheeling start. the entire way? No. You cartwheel, you said you cartwheeled the entire way. You said, you definitely said you cartwheeled the entire way. 100%. You built momentum doing it. That's what your whole thing was. Those think he's cartwheeling the entire way. Put your hand up. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, cartwheeling the oh, entire Trent way. Oh, as well. Trent's put a hand up too. Yep. There you yeah. go. Four out of four. You skid across the floor and you uh, you smack into the side of the cave here. fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And to continue the cartwheel in such a fashion, you would have had to have rolled at least a 20 there. Yeah, 
What are, you, what are you talking about? I wasn't even trying to cartwheel around the corner. <laughs> I was sprinting. He's making a 90 degree turn of the cartwheel. <laughs> yeah, but I did you learn from that, though, but I did not learn from everyone trying to fuck me in every single Daedal. way, every decision I try to make. Daedal, you're not taking any damage. You've managed to stop yourself, but you've just crashed into the side. You're not taking damage. <laughs> Yeah, I pick myself up and I start looking for Tread. Okay. What do you want to do here? I pick myself up and start looking yeah, for Tread. You've got you've got movement. What do you like to do? <sighs> yeah, I move uh, upwards and then left. Okay. All the time looking as much as I can, so whenever I need to make a check for Make a perception check. Nineteen. You uh, Holy you find. Shit, I'm rolling like a god right now. You find Tren's tattered cloak on the ground, the dragon mantle. Thank you, Corbin. Thank you. Sorry, what? What did I find? Her uh, her dragon mantle. You find <laughs> it on the floor, tattered. Yeah. And like, can I see like anything where, which direction it would have like, they would have gone? Nope. You just see the mantle lying there on the ground. No, I know she was here then, so I'll uh, look around and see if I can find any clues to where they are now. And I'll pick it up. You pick up the mantle? Yeah, <sighs> put it in my backpack. Jackball, what are you doing here? I'm still waiting for these ghouls down up these stairs. Doesn't look like the ghouls are coming. I'm still waiting. Okay. I got Jim 40 feet in one direction and I got Dado 40 feet in another. I'm not... This is about the best thing I can do to make sure we don't get separated and screwed by uh, ghouls. Jim, you are currently prying open the door, and you're almost through. Keep prying. Keep prying. Um, Daedal, what are you going to do? I was looking for clues as to what direction they Up or down? Gone. Well, up then. Up. Left or right? Uh, where am I? Up oh, here. right. 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 You're right. gonna go right, sorry. Yes. Okay. Up here. Right, Daedal, you gonna do anything? Can I see anything? Uh, you'll be able to find that in a moment. Yeah, I'm looking for clues as to where she is. I know- You'll find that in just a moment. Anything you want to do, Daedal? Well, prepare myself and look after her. Okay. Jackball, what are you going to do? I'm doing just fine right here. <laughs> just on there. Daedal, you are going to go up here. And in front of you, here. And no fucking car wheels, Timmy. Mm -hmm. In front of you, there is a, there is a dark pool of water. Yeah, that looks ominous. It's a still pool that fills much of the cavern. The water is dark, revealing what uh, a little what must lie within. The shore of the pool consists of a thin layer of broken shells, um, pale muscles, and, uh, and a fishy odor that hangs in the air. Uh, the passage leads south, which is where you've come from, and uh, and there is a stair climb up to the uh, to the east side. A fishy odor. It might smell of crabs. Is that what you're saying? It smells of crabs, yes. <laughs> well, Tren would have loved coming through here. So Make an investigation okay. check. Uh, 14 plus what? Invest check your Do I have like an investigation stat? Or... Check your PMs. Alright. Um Do I detect anything else? Like Nope, oh, but you can see her. Ooh. Well, I don't wanna to touch the fucking water, do I? You are you see Tren, her head poking out from behind the pillar. The water behind there actually quite shallow. She's lying down in it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm here to bring about teleportation. 
Telekinesis. You can attack. I don't know if you're allowed to. Let me double check. She's that. not an animal. She's currently an inanimate object. Because she's <laughs> paralyzed. That's not how paralyzed people work, though, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do love, I gotta be honest, man, I love the the rules lawyer in there. That's brilliant. <laughs> she technically can't move. <laughs> she is, for all intents and purposes, a rock that is currently <laughs> bleeding. You got faulty thinking about this. <laughs> so you need to be consistent by the creature's strength check. And you got to see if you can win if you want. I'm assuming you want to try and lift her out, right? Yeah. I don't want to touch the water. Trent, what's your strength? So, um, so Dado thinks he's Yoda. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yoda is shit out of this. Dado, you're going to have to roll a 14 on a strength check in order to pull her out using telekinesis. Do I have a negative strength? Uh, because it doesn't. Yes. Because it doesn't. It doesn't make the creature weightless. You're basically yeah, having to you're having to use it to yeah. essentially lift them and that takes your yeah, physical fair, strength yeah, to do. Oh, fuck. I... <laughs> oh, what did I have to roll? You roll a natural one. No. What did I have to roll? Fourteen. Fourteen. I literally miss it because I have minus one strength. <laughs> you are I you rolled, lift up. I rolled a fourteen, but I have minus one. Dale, you muster all of your strength, and you uh, you close your eyes, and she she levitates above the water for a second, and then she drops back down, smacking her head. <laughs> one point of damage. Yeah, well, at this point, I have to uh, risk it to get the biscuit. I because uh, I know she's bleeding out, right? Yeah. Um, so I gotta go over there and uh, and give her a potion. You're right. You start trudging through the water. The yeah. water uh, reddened by the blood pouring out of her. And uh, and you make it to her and you're standing on, on top of her. It detects poison, by the way. Oh. <laughs> She's not poisoned anymore. Alright, good. Yeah, and I give her a, a health potion. You stabilize her, it removes the paralyzing touch. Tren, you're now back up. You, oh, wait, that was a nice adventure. <laughs> That's what happens when you kick down the door. Thanks, Dadle. <laughs> Good job, Tren. I'm proud of you. Um, that I'm was fun. How much <laughs> health have you got? <laughs> how much health have you lost, and how much health do you have altogether? Um, I have a three HP. My max is twenty-seven. Okay, Dadle, you need to you need to do the health potion. See how much it heals her. Um. So what do I roll now? Uh, you roll for the value of your health potion. Now do I do that? Uh, oh, it is a normal healing potion, so 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. Well, Jim. I gotta not find a new site because I can't work this one out. Jim. Faulty. You make it through the door. Oh. 2d4 plus 2. Mm -hmm. 2 plus 4. <laughs> I'm fucking a, I'm a god this session. So 2 plus 4 plus 2, that's 8. You heal for eight. Uh, her leg is still oh, bleeding, but you've stabilized her. Can't I cure the wound? I have you that if you want to spell to. as well. Yeah, I want to do that. Jim, you uh, you walk out the door here. I'm mending trend. That's my sole objective right now. I've gotten away from the others. I'm mending trend. All right, Jim, you haven't aggroed them. It's fine. Don't worry. You peek out the door, Jim, and you uh, you see exits of the cave. And I even are, fucking shit. put them there. I literally put them there before this started, and I just fucking walked into them. <gasps> what an idiot! <laughs> yeah, they haven't noticed you. They're uh, they're a vampire bats, Jim. Currently, the, uh, <laughs> there are vampire bats currently on the ceiling napping. You haven't woken them. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna do the Homer Simpson back into the hedge. <laughs> You're just gonna go back through the door and just just close it behind you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good job. No, Homer Simpson is such a fucking good strat. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. So what are you gonna do with Tren here? Tren, you're awake, by the way. Your yep. legs hurting like fuck, but you're uh, you're being stabilized. 
Hey, there was this dude. He gave me a sandwich. I don't know where he went, though. Yeah, nice. it was a good dude. sandwich, too. Do you have any sandwich left? Because, like, I tried to get some j beans and toast at the gym earlier, but he just... Yeah, I have the whole share. other half. It was such a good sandwich, I can only eat half of it. You, uh, oh. you look down to the to the side of you, and the sandwich is floating away in the water. <laughs> Grab it! <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm quick as a fucking weasel. It's, uh, it's soggy <laughs> and wet. Oh, I don't want mm. it anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't like wet bread? No. Are you tossing it away? <laughs> no, I'm definitely not tossing Trent's sandwich away. It's her sandwich, so I'm offering it back to her. I'm sorry, I can't eat this. I, I don't think you should either, considering like it's been in this water. Don't, I started eating it. <laughs> don't, don't use sense with potato. <laughs> Are you actually going to eat it? Of course, I'm not going to waste a perfectly good sandwich. <laughs> Power in me. <laughs> I can't keep doing this all day. Use a cons make a constitution saving throw. Fourteen. You don't get poisoned by the sandwich, but it's not nice, and you vomit it back up. Oh. <laughs> Why did you sound like that was a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> your leg trend still open. Mm. You're in great what are we pain. gonna What are we gonna do about what, my leg, Dale? How is your leg, leg still you open? You haven't used your wounds. I, 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 that was what I said I wanted to do. But you didn't. Okay, describe it to me. Tell me what All you're right. gonna do, and expend your spell slot for it. Yes. <sighs> God. I'm kneeling down into this poisonous odor water. Uh, mm -hmm. Odorous water and putting both my hands on Trent's disgusting leg with the, uh, with the bone protruding out of it. Then I poke the bone ah. so that it goes back into place and Trent makes Trent vomit once again, <laughs> narrowly missing me with a vomit cascade this time. And then I put both my hands around Wait, so you So are you saying that she's vomited and you are dodging it, yeah? Do you not yes. like require Stadel in order to dodge it? <laughs> Yes. That requires a dexterity check. Yes. <laughs> what did you vomit? To, plus 14 to hit on the vomit. What do you mean plus 14 to hit on the vomit? Your dexterity check has to, uh, has to exceed 14. I do not uh, make it. You get vomited on, but you power through. <laughs> because like it's important to me that she gets healed up so uh, as I have vomit dripping off of my hoodie uh, and my coat um don't forget your crown yeah a bit of vomit in the no, crown lovely no, I have my hoodie on the crown is underneath <laughs> so there's no vomit in my hair or in, on my crown it's all on my hoodie uh, but I power through it, and I. Do goblins have my hair? Hands around, like, some of them do. Goblins do yes. not have hair. Some do. You have hair. You've had hair implants. You're a goblin king. You can afford it. <laughs> I've got a ponytail. Um, so I uh, I put both my hands and like I'm making like uh, massaging. But gently, so that she like starts feeling good, and like this light protrudes <laughs> from, uh, from her body as the room starts closing up. And then right. after I'm done, this is a this is a later. I take my, I take my hoodie off, take the, take the cape off, so now I'm standing there in this stupid leather armor that I have underneath, uh, and my crown starts shining up the room. Uh, and then I dip, the, uh, dip it down into the water and start washing it off. Put it back on again, and then I take out from my backpack. One sec, you, you, one sec, one sec. You, uh, you washed it in the muddy water. Yes, in the poisonous muddy water, so that it now smells of crab instead of vomit. <laughs> and then I take out Trent's cape that is trashed from my backpack and says, "Here, thanks. Uh, here, I found this. Uh, looking for you." And give oh, thank it to you. Her. Very good. How much did you heal with that? 
Uh, oh yeah, I got a roll for that too. <laughs> oh my god. Flip me, dude. Uh, That's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't remember why I need to roll it. It's a d4 plus something, right? A d4 plus your whiz modifier. My whiz modifier is that my uh, my proficiency bonus. Plus whiz. It's not, but it has to be my proficiency bonus since I'm. Yes, clearing. it will be. So you look at your wisdom and then the little number underneath it. Yes, yeah, so it's plus three. Uh, so one d eight plus three. One d eight plus three. Yes. All right. Uh, gonna roll again because I roll a d four. <laughs> one. <laughs> so one plus three, four. Trent, how much health are you missing still? Uh, You've gotten 12 from me now. 12. I'm missing 16. Your leg is still broken. You just got four back. You just got four back, Trent. Oh, well, that's before this healing. Yeah, yeah, so you're 12, 12 missing now. Okay. Your Wait. leg is still broken. What? How, Daedal's how much done, is healed for? So, so Daedal's your, your done 12 healing so right? far. You're on 3, weren't you? Out of 27, I remembered. Yeah. I'm so, paying so attention. So your leg, Tren? Right? Yeah. The wound is closed up. You're not going to bleed to death, but your bone is still fractured and broken. Okay. It put the bone into place. Yes, but it is still fractured and broken. All right. I can't do more for you right now, Tren. I am exhausted. You have to. I appreciate your effort, though. Torture. I appreciate your effort. You're welcome. That's what friends do. They don't try to slap each other every time they disagree. Exactly. <laughs> they give each other sandwiches. Yes, soggy poisonous sandwiches. <laughs> now should we try to find that nice guy and see if he has more sandwiches? We should. <laughs> Which way? Did you, did you see him coming to find me? I didn't me? see him. I didn't see anyone. I was just trying to get away from the others because they wanted to slap me and I tried to find you because like you were dying. Yeah, thank you for that. And that will uh, happen. <laughs> do you want to jump can back up smoke? on my shoulders? Dado, can you yes, uh... I jump on your shoulder. No way, I shouldn't because your leg is broken. <laughs> Dado, make a, make a con saving throw, please. A con saving throw? Constitution. Uh... God damn it, there's so many sites I need to have open for this. Oh, nat 20. Uh, you evade the crabs. These were not the best crabs. <laughs> <laughs> They're not vegan crabs. Yeah, I agree. What are you two doing down here? Oh, good. Um, I'm gonna. So, do you want to look around? Do you want to look around, Jim, see if you can find anything in the room, even though it's burnt? Yeah, he said it was all burnt. I mean, I'll, I will. Yeah, I'll do a check or whatever. Yeah. Um, the chests are burnt, Jim, but you can <laughs> smack one of the chests open with your crowbar if you wanted to. Oh yes, please. Mm-hmm. And what are you doing, Jackball? So how many turns has it been since they've both been gone for oh. me? From your perspective, he has just run off. Yeah, but how many turns? I didn't hear the turns. You were silent. Uh, four to five. Four to five. Okay. So I'm going to slowly move back kind of towards the door where Jim was listening. Because I don't know what the hell's going on. I saw a goblin cartwheeling down one way. Yep. <laughs> right, Jim, are you smacking? You can hear him, by the way, smacking stuff in the room with his crowbar jack ball. <laughs> All right, I'm going to peek. I'm going to peek into the room. Just make sure it's him smacking things with a crowbar. <laughs> yeah, you can see him smacking stuff open with a crowbar. He's having right. a bit of a mental breakdown <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Jim, you're, you're being a little loud, brother. 
And then I shout over and said, Oh, by the way, Dalton, there's some vampire bats sleeping in the next room. Are you shouting? <laughs> no, I'm not shouting, obviously. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell him I'm going to say, the, the, the fucking goblin, man. He's probably over in the hallway. He's gone, man. Oh, no. Wish That's I cared, crazy mate. little fucker's gone. <laughs> Wish I cared. I'm going to see if I can find some loot. <laughs> Jim, you uh, you smack open one of the chests, and I want mm. you to roll a d100 for me. No, oh, baby. It is eight. Are you still wearing your cloak? I am. Yes, I guess the one that blows indoors. I mean, I I would I can no I'm I would I would no. No, I'm not going to take it on adventures. I'm just going to use it for uh, date nights. Well, congratulations, Jim, because you found a cloak of dramatic entrance. Oh. Um, it blows in the it. wind, even indoors. And, uh, and yeah. It but gives can... you a disadvantage on stealth check checks, but an advantage on dramatic entrances. Brilliant. <laughs> and I can choose when it activates, not just all the nope. time like the other one. It's always blowing. Oh, well, I'll just throw it away then. <laughs> That's what happens when you roll that. It's, it's not my choice. I've got a easy. table here, Jim. Easy come, easy go. Tell you what, Jim. I'll let you smack open another chest if you use your inspiration for it. And you Thanks. Can I will use my inspiration. You can roll on the loot it. table. I'll use my inspiration for it and get a two. <laughs> Congratulations, Jim. You got a set of merchant's scales. Oh. Um. They're literally a set of scales, Jim, used for weighing. You can uh, you can plonk them down on the table, and you get a you get a plus two to any barter that you make. Oh, okay. Brilliant. <laughs> Don't ask me how that works, but you do. Yep, fantastic. Why do you have to roll so lowly on a D one hundred? You literally yeah. roll a D one hundred, and you get a five and a two. An eight. I rolled an eight on the first one. Sorry, you rolled an eight on a D100, and you rolled yes. an eight and a, and an a thing. And a two, That's yeah. ridiculous. Jim Dice, isn't it? It is Jim Dice. I made a foul in my what. in my game of Blood Bowl I played yesterday, and of course got sent off. Like a, a tell like you a what, Jim. Eight assist tell foul. You what, Jim. <laughs> because because you've had a bad day, right? I'll allow you to crack open the last chest in the room. <sighs> Thanks, Foley. You're a lovely fella. However, you are gonna, if you are going to crack... 13. <laughs> Jim. Jim, you got the bagpipes of stealth. <laughs> you, uh, you get a set of bagpipes and they turn you invisible whilst you're playing it, but obviously you are playing the bagpipes. <laughs> you can either choose the scales or the bagpipes, which one would you like? Oh, the bagpipes, the bagpipes, definitely. Note it down on your character sheet. You yeah. Bagpipes of invisibility. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, that's that is probably my favorite item in all okay, so, this game. So, Faldi, I'm, I'm going to get mad at you here because I really <laughs> wanted to make you to make him roleplay how he found out what those things did. <laughs> Jim, you don't actually know that they're bagpipes. It's true, you don't know they're bagpipes of invisibility. Thank you, Jack. Both point me out. I, I You've got a set of bagpipes. More. All right. Well, I'll say, hey, hey, Dalton, look at these. <laughs> so, as you do that, you blow the bagpipes. The uh... fucking vampire bats in the next Jim. room, Jimmy. Jim, you turn invisible, but the bagpipes don't turn invisible. <laughs> So at this point, at this, at this point, Dalton, who's seen a lot in his life, right? He's he's experienced a lot of different things, and in the last twenty minutes, he's seen a goblin cartwheeling down a hallway trying to escape, and Jim disappear while playing a playing a pair of bagpipes or a set of bagpipes, but yet the bagpipes are still there. I'm wondering what I did to piss the gnomish gods off here. <laughs> Why you gotta do this? <laughs> Fix that. Oh man. You just say, Jim, are you done? We gotta find the nuts goblin. Okay. 
And I'll, I'll whisper, there's some, by the way, there's some vampire bats in the other room, so, you know, don't play any bagpipes or anything stupid. <laughs> Just gave the bagpipes a little blow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you guys going to do here? <laughs> Just gave a little blow. Let's follow the goblin, then I guess we've got to. God. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be guys, like, uh, he, he went that way. <laughs> you guys follow up here, and you make it to this intersection. Where are you going to go? Uh, north. I didn't see which way you went after the intersection behind us, man. He he, t he was doing cartwheels and took a hard right. <laughs> let 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 let's go north. I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling in my gut you, that you know. You've got a feeling that that's the way you went, right? You've got to just some strange reason. I just got a feeling. He's gone right, north. I'm gonna follow you him. Make it up not, he's going you, first. <laughs> you make your way up to the pool, and you see them there. Together what? in the murky, disgusting water. <laughs> how are how can they find us here? We made our way trying to look for the sandwich man. Because you were uh, no, because whilst you were doing all of that, they were they were looking for you. Yeah, we were it doing was all two of this, separate yeah. time instances, rather yeah. than jumping back and forth, going right, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn. Yeah, right. Fatal, we're not going to tell them about the sandwiches. No, obviously. Not. <laughs> you guys are standing in the water, by the way. I'm not. Oh, no, 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 they are. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys want to do here? I mean, what do we really want to do, or, or what do we have to do to carry on playing what the game? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, you two are cretins. <laughs> Send the kettle to the pot. <laughs> I don't know okay, what so you're I'll talking about. Over, okay, okay, I'll move over to those stairs and kind of peer down that hallway. <laughs> but I'm going real slow. I'm going to look around the room before we leave to see if there's anything. Oh shit, her yeah. leg's broken. I'm going to hand her one of my potions of healing while I'm doing this, by the way. Yeah, you toss it to a trend, drink the uh, drink the potion. How much is it healing her, huh? Jackball? Uh, you told me that those were, I think, 1d8 plus 2. Uh... I think. Oh, but whatever 2d4, 2d4, 2d4 plus 2d4, so yeah, 1d8, it's up to you. Well, Either, yeah, we'll do 2d4, that way she gets at least 2. Yeah. 2d4, okay, also, uh, 8 on perception. Okay. She's rolling the uh, potion? No, you are, it's your potion. No, she's rolling it, she's rolling it. Alright. You said 2d4s? Yeah, yeah. plus 2. I rolled a one both times. <laughs> cool. So four. Your uh, your leg is stabilized, uh, by the way, and it's no longer broken, but it's sore and it hurts. Are you guys walking out the water? Uh, yes. Okay. I've had enough of the really crab cool. water, but I smell a crab. Hey, to roll a roll a d twenty for me. Tell you what you get, please. Mm. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the... Uh... Four. Four. Okay. Make a perception check. And they can't all be god dice. Uh, they're over by now. <laughs> Five. <laughs> so plus two is... You seven. make it out the water. Jim, what are you doing? Uh... Oh, fuck. Um, I don't know. Yeah, walking along, whatever. <laughs> Trent, are you trying to get out of the water? Yep. Okay. Roll a... Make a d20 roll for me. Three. Trent, you trip. There is a... There is a little alcove in the water. Uh, your foot gets stuck in it, and you go face first down to the ground. And you take two points of damage. It's <laughs> 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 so much effort to <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm just going to sit there and chuckle. Are you going to investigate the hole? Of course I'm going to investigate the hole. I'm going to stick my whole arm in it. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, you stick your hand down into the hole and you uh, you pull out a skeleton. A dwarven skeleton. What? <clears throat> I've seen those. Those are the worst. I'm glad it's dead. Make an oh, investigation yeah. check. Is it purple? It is I not. I think it's cyan. 
<laughs> like your shirt. <laughs> Twenty three. You uh you pull up the skeleton and clutched in its hands is uh is a wand and there is a platinum ring on his uh on his hand. I take it off and I put it on mine. And you take the are you go are you going to <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'll take the ring not to learn who you're dealing with. Sick <laughs> Wait, hold on, you hold take on, the hold ring on, off on, and you, um... Wait, what did she just say she was doing? <laughs> Taking the ring off and putting it straight onto her finger. Okay, the ring. As long as it's not the wand, I'm cool with her doing the ring. <laughs> Trent, the, uh, you can't take the ring off your finger now. You pull and pull and it will not come off. Perfect. And you're married. <laughs> and what are you doing with the wand? <laughs> Giving it a nice little twirl. <laughs> okay, at that point, I'm going to go around the corner. Are you picking the wand up? <laughs> yes. Jim, what are you doing here? <laughs> Dana, what are you doing? I'm just shaking my head and well, pretty much what I'm doing in real life, I guess. <laughs> Does anybody speak Dwarven? I do, don't I? I do. I, I, yeah, somehow I'm pretty sure. You speak sure. Dwarven, yeah? I'm pretty sure you told me before we started that I, I did. I speak Dwarven as well. You speak Dwarven. You notice Dwarven runes cast into the wand. I'm mm. around the corner. <laughs> oh, you, you don't know. So you're around the corner, but Jim, you see there are dwarvish runes on it. Okay. Well, that's good information for me, I guess. You're not going to tell her? <laughs> no. Okay. There's no point, is there? <laughs> are you going to try and use the wand, Trin? No, I'm just picking it up. Just picking it up, okay. You're waving it around. That's fine. <laughs> you make it out of the water. <laughs> She's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the people want to do. I asked her how, how she thinks the dwarf died. I think it has something to do with him being in a hole. That's fair. Underwater. <laughs> he might, might have drowned. Underwater. <laughs> Can I can I get the wand? <laughs> sure, here you go. Thanks. I'm putting it in my backpack. No, you're not. As right. uh, as you try and let go of the wand, trend, you can't. It's stuck in your hand. Same as ah. the ring. Mm. Mm, that's odd. You can't <laughs> let go of it. Do you, do you want the one? Can I read the dwarven runes? Yes, you can, Jim. Good job. Right. I shall walk up and I shall say, <laughs> let me read those dwarven runes on this wand that you have, Patea. The, uh, the inscriptions show that it is a wand of magic metal. What does that mean in Swedish? It allows I you to like cast magic metal. Unlimited uh, magic time. Missiles. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. What did Lovely. you think he said, Dadle? <laughs> Missiles, I don't know. Like measles, by the words. Yeah. <laughs> Wizard of measles, you just give people measles. <laughs> <laughs> you get a crab, you get a crab, you get a crab. <laughs> um, Dadle, it pops into your head that you could probably uh, dispel the magic and dispel the curse on it if you wanted to, but it would expend your last spell slot there. It's not even a curse, is it? Not, uh, well, I mean, you don't know. Is it a curse? Or is she just holding on to it and not letting go? Yeah, but I mean, that's, that's not I even that her. bad a Do curse, you want the wand? Like, it's magic I mean, missiles, I, I'd I rather. Can't... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to give rid of the magic missile, you know? Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. You don't have you to. Do. It's up to you. How, how could he dispel the magic without getting rid of the magic missile? He would be dispelling the curse on it. That's forcing you to hold it. Ah, but it's because not a bad it is curse, is it? And it's only because one. the actual not... spell, because the actual spell is ingrained into the wood. Yeah, we're not going to be able um, to you're use not the wand. Yeah. No, you will be able to. You're not going to be able to get rid of the actual spell itself on the wand, but you'll be able to get rid of the curse that's forcing her to hold it. Uh hey, Dadle, do you want to uncurse me and then I'll give you the wand? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna see if I have. I don't have the curse. I only have uh, like. 
dispel magic would work on it. Yeah, but uh, that's my final like level. That'll be your three last spell. spell slot. Yeah. Yeah. And I can we hold might on need this to for a couple days. Something yeah. that dies if we continue in this fashion. Mm. So, uh, no, you're gonna hold on to that one for now. Okay, I'm fine with that. Good. <laughs> As a GM, I would advise you not to cast that spell. As a, as a player, though, who enjoys watching shit happen, cast a spell. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy watching shit happen. <laughs> but yeah. From being a very, very, like, sad session, the first 15 minutes, this has been a good session. I'm happy we did this. Quick, Jim, slap him. <laughs> <laughs> You could run up and slap him now if you wanted to. Yeah. You I am do it? Still I'm still prepared. I, I know. Yes, okay. I know what they're doing. So I'm going to have a bonus to my dodge checks. Last action of the game, Jim. What are you going to do? After this, it's over for this session. Are you going to you gonna show mercy? Because he's rescued Tren? Or are you uh, are you going to stick to your guns? And go I'm going to put my hand out and I'm going to say... Well done, Flagel. Well done, Saving Patea. And then go out and shake his hand. No. I'm not falling for it. So you're thanks. not going to shake my hand? No, I'm backing away and saying thanks. I'll say, come and shake my hand, Flagel. No, I'm good, thanks. Come and shake my hand, you ignorant no. fucking are you walking, goblin. Are you walking forward, Jim? Yeah, I'm going to walk forward, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm backing up. They'll make a perception check. Thank you. Fourteen. You realize you're getting dangerously close to the pool of water. <laughs> are you keeping uh, Are you keeping chasing me, Jimmy? I'm not chasing you. I'm trying to shake your hand. Come on, Flag. Go. He's walking. He's walking forward with his hand you're out, trying to shake you. Just slap me. I'm you're chasing me to slap me. <laughs> Daedal equates a man just walking towards him with his hand out to me. He's chasing me to slap me. So. Yeah, I'm, I said I'm good. I said oh, thank you. Him. We don't need to shake hands. Stay away. Jimmy has trained him well. <laughs> You're gonna keep chasing me. I'm not chasing it's your choice, you. Though. It's, it's your choice. I'm not. You know, I'm, I'm just providing the story here for you. It's your choice what you want to do here. Are you, are, you are you still approaching me? Are you still yes, Flago. Here, look, shake hands, you silly little I'm, goblin. I'm, I'm dodging down, and I'm gonna trip past him, him as, I, as I dart past him. Past it, past him. I'm gonna trip okay. him. Okay. For the dodge, you're gonna make an acrobatics check for me. Yeah. <laughs> and the check is gonna have to be 14 minimum. Yeah, exactly 14. Exactly 14. Okay. So you dodge past him. Are you going to try and trip him? Yes. Okay. Make a make a deception check first off to see if he uh, sees it coming. Uh, seven. Plus he knows it's whatever, coming. So, yeah. Um. And then you're going to have to make a strength check to try and trip him with a. You're smaller than him, so you're going to get a minus two. And Wait, he knows I'm it's coming. I'm not using strength to do this. How are I'm you going trickster. to trip him then? I'm a trickster. It doesn't matter if you're a trickster. I know his weak, I know his weak points. You know his weak points. It's like <laughs> okay. the fury of the small. Okay, okay. Justify what you are going to use to try and trip him. If not, it will be strength. Give me an uh, alternative. Work with me here, Daedal. Alright, so, like, my whole character, he has two daggers, and he has finesse... Fury of the Small and Light Feet. That's what he has to get around. In, so he get, but we've already done that. You, you've gotten behind him. Yes, and that's what I, I'm using to find his weak points. Never tell me the uh, odds is part of my character as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, and I have a Thieves Tool set. And in and that, how does that how, sorry, set, how does a Thieves Tool set help you trip up Jim? Set, I have like this small tiny band that is like super strong like <laughs> elfish rope uh and i use i don't that. think that's included in thieves tool yeah, sets buddy. In thieves tools it's definitely included you need a tiny a, a, a tiny set of rope like if you need to like 
suit something up or whatever. Right. Chat, there is a one minute poll. <laughs> one, if you want to allow him to do it. Uh, has he got elvish rope? You got one minute to vote. No. <laughs> or whatever gets to ten first. Okay, now did Dad did Dadel actually vote himself? <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie, okay, Dadel. Oh, no. Kim, you're being cucked by your chat here. I know, right? Fucking well, elvish you roll. You tried to slap me. I'm trying to shake your hand, you fool. trying to shake your hand. I agree with Jimmy. Oh, no, Ken. Oh, no, Ken. Oh, no, Ken. Oh, no, Ken. You've slapped me every session we've been in. And you've already threatened to slap me twice this session. It is true, and, Jim. And now I'm shaking your hand and saying, well done, saving Patea. Yeah, no, I'm not trusting you. Well, tell you what then. You're not going to get a disadvantage because you're not going to be doing a strength. However... You are still going to have a minus two because he sees that it's coming. He knows it's coming. We've established that. Because you failed the deception check. So I'm going to ask from you that you are... Explain to me how you're going to do it with this rope. Yeah, I'm darting... Like, as I dodge down, the yeah. dart past him. Like, I have this rope. I've been fidgeting with the rope as he, like, <laughs> he uh, tried yeah. to uh, um, approach me still as I try to get him to back off. And uh, so I get that out, and as I dart past him, I, I take both hands out, and one each on his weaker leg. Um, mm -hmm. Weaker leg? I'm not Rivaldo. I, 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 I'm sorry, like, <laughs> skydive first, like, Superman dive with the rope on his weaker leg. I want a, I want a 13. <laughs> I want a 13 with a minus 2. I was going to say 15, but you convinced me. I'm going to have a 13 you. from you. Uh, share screen. What did you roll? Oh, what did God. you roll? Well, since I don't think you believe me, I will literally roll this one. I'm gonna lie. Like if you if you roll that, I'm gonna believe what you're gonna say. <laughs> roll sixteen. So okay, now you're doing it this way, so I can see it. We rolled it a twenty. Well, he rolled a natural twenty, Jim. So right. you do it. Right. Get rid of that, please, Dadel, because it's fucked up the stream completely. <laughs> All right. Sorry. <laughs> so, so, you, so you've lassoed his weak leg. <laughs> the weak leg. Sure. <laughs> well, Jim, you're coming down. Unfortunately. Brilliant. <laughs> you uh, you hit the ground and you're going to take four points of emotional damage. Yeah. Yes. Emotional damage. Fantastic. What a great end that to the where, session. That is where the session ends. Yeah. Good job on clearing how many rooms did Bas you clear. Basically, Three room, yeah, four yeah. rooms. He took you down uh, like Empire Strikes Back there, Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. He got you there. Right, well, there you go. That That's a thing that happened. <laughs> Thank you. GG's. Thank you very There's much, no everybody. There's no way you were going to slap me. Thank you very <laughs> much, doctor, everybody. That's exactly what I was thinking. And, uh, I got to get going, guys. Yeah. I'll All see right. you. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't Enjoy. forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>